Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ISPs, am I right? Uh, You're right. We're a little delayed starting, but this is episode three of Into the Mist. Um, we are live on the Dungeons and Dragons Twitch, um, who is a main sponsor, as well as on the Realmsmith Twitch tonight as well. Um, we are so happy to be here on a Monday night. We're a little flustered because uh, of technical data issues, but we'll see. Hopefully we're good. We will pray to the morning Lord that everything continues the way that it should. You might. Hopefully. You may. <laughs> I am the morning Lord. Uh, Depends on your alignment. <laughs> oh no, it's continuing yeah. into the episode. Uh, I want to thank our main title sponsor, Beetle and Grimm. Yay, Beetle and Grimm! Um, yeah. This week. I'm even wearing my shirt. Wow. My the dino. My, my beetle shirt. That's a nice dinosaur hey. shirt. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, a mighty fine shirt. There was an Instagram post that Matt Liller made today saying that there's a big announcement coming for Beetle and Grimm that we're very excited about. So stay tuned for later this week. Um, Interesting. According to uh, Matt Lillard. Um, <laughs> I want to also thank our other main title sponsor, and Adam's oh, Adam's yeah. profile. We want to thank we want to thank Adam's profile for making an appearance there in the announcements. You're welcome. Sirenscape is a wonderful fantasy sound and mood player for your tabletop RPGs. Uh, we use Sirenscape a lot, um, and it is awesome. And you can check it out at www.sirenscape.com/realmsmith. That will let them know that we sent you. Uh, and then if you if you type Realmsmith into the search bar, you will see all of the sound sets, including the ones that we're using tonight for purchase on Sirenscape. I'm killing time until I get the Sirenscape ad card shows up with the URL like Boom. this. It's gonna like, be like right here on this side. side. I'm just gonna I'm gonna bend it. I'm gonna Sirenscape. I'm gonna right twitch Over. bend. Use the force. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> happen. Yeah. The last wow, Twitch it bender. really, the, the guys are... The guys are sleep. maybe not... Hey! There it is. It worked. Yes, wow. Man. Um, wow. Julian's just drinking. Wow. <laughs> it's all good. Who I think we were in the wide oh, shot. That's why, and it wasn't working. But there is. Sirenscape.com slash Realmsmith. We're having a great night, folks. Typical Barovian mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Product sponsors. We want to thank WizKids. I want to show off. I actually unboxed those dragons. Oh. So that is the adult white... That is the adult Ooh, sapphire. What? Just to give you kind of an idea of scale. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Anyways. just remove them from the current mm -hmm. scene. Yeah, if you give me, give me, a, give me a, a, a WizKids mini there. Give me your, a mini, Roan. Oh, I must have it. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> is Roan. <laughs> what a wiener. Down there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and that is... Wow. Okay. I can uh, still take him. Yeah. I can take him. You're more like a two-bite. Um, not like a single... Uh, I'm a brownie. morsel. Yes. Uh, I'm a snack. That's what I am. Yes. 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 Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> An order. I'd like to thank Dwarven Forge as well nice for. Uh, I'm just going to continue on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank Dwarven Forge for a lot of the uh, terrain at the table. Um, yeah, yeah. I posted, I painted a bunch this week, as you can see. There is something on the table that the players don't know what it is, but some of you at home might know. And in the chat, don't be in the chat. Um, Wait, but uh, yeah, it's awesome. Hero Forge. I want to do a shout out to Hero Forge. Uh, yes. This week I painted Sterling. We've got Falfer and we've got Sterling for our. Sterling. Uh, maybe we can bring up that uh, overcam there, just like that. Um, and uh, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. So that is Sterling. Deadlink. I'm a real boy. Oh. Sterling Argento. <laughs> Argento. Argento. And then we have Falfer Soft Foot from last week. And I then next week. I'm not sure who I'm going to do next. Probably oh. Callie, oh. who is not here tonight. Mel is not with us this evening. So, oh. just as a note, Mithril Armory, yeah. official Yay. accessory Yay. and dice sponsor for Good this nice season. Um, we're doing actually two giveaways tonight. Uh, we had talked about this, I think, Julian. Hopefully it's set up. I talked to um, Chad about it. But uh, we're doing Hero Forge first. And then we're doing Mithril the second half. Is that okay? Tiny, absolutely. So he Hero Forge in the chat. Type it once, all one word. Um, be sure that you don't do it more than once, or you will be disqualified by our awesome bot system. 
Um, but uh, you will be entered, and then we will send you a code for a $50 gift certificate, gift card for Hero Forge. Uh, and then in the break, we will shift over to a Mithril Armory uh, product placement. <laughs> A great. mithril <laughs> armory uh, with the overgrab. Yeah. Uh, D&D Beyond. Uh, thank you to D&D Beyond. We are powered by them. Uh, and we use it at the table. And we are a disaster tonight. This should go swimmingly. Well, this is when things are the best, Jake. It yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, people in the go. Discord are crafting all kinds of things. If you're interested <clears> in joining <throat> our Discord art role-playing community, <clears throat> you can subscribe either at Twitch Prime uh, tier 1, Tier 2, or Tier 3 on our Twitch channel. That is on the Realmsmith Twitch channel. You can also subscribe to D&D because you want to support them. But subscribe on the D&D Twitch channel, or on the Realmsmith Twitch channel. You can come over to us and do that, and you get the opportunity to role play with our awesome community, craft items, and interact with the players. In fact, there may be a couple cameos tonight for some of our uh, camp stuff. Yeah, really? a little bit. There, oh. there might be a spoiler little something. Alert. Just saying, just a little spoiler alert there. Um, okay. Behind the screen tomorrow night with myself. That is Q&A session for an hour from 8 p.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern. Thursday, we will have Claire's Table with Joel OJ as usual. And then Nolzer's, back to Nolzer's on um, Sunday. I won't tell you what I painted this week. For those of you that don't know, I know some of you know, but... It might be a spoiler. Can I just say I had the most fun for the players' table this past week? It was pretty great. There was a hundred people actually watching the show, which I think yeah. is the most anyone has ever had watching the players' table show. Pretty sure that's mm. the most anyone's ever had. Mm. Yeah, you would know because you're the well, one that runs would? it. No one else runs it, but I'm just saying. I'm the only one who hosts it, but your yeah. personal best. Exactly, <laughs> but personal best. It was amazing. Um, we had we crossed the five thousand followers on Twitch uh -huh. on yeah. Thursday night. We can switch to Joel's oh, game. Shot all night. Yeah, we're just gonna. They were told during announcements just to do that shot. So oh, hey guys. they're just listening. Oh, um, yeah, it was fun. It was really fun. Thanks for joining and come to this week's because this week's guest is Adam's at the table. At Adam, Adam's profile. <laughs> 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 Welcome, Adam's profile. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so it was fun. Awesome. Continue. All right. Uh, and today is Gary Gygax Day, is that right? Yay! Yay. So um, we're back. repping for Gary Gygax. We love the Gygax family. Luke and all the folks. And um, do lots as we hosted uh, Founders of Legends this year and Gary Khan. So we are tied quite closely with the family and do everything that we can to spread the word and the love and to uh, make sure that we remember those that created this wonderful game that we play. Um, including Gary and all of them, which is awesome. So, all right, are you guys ready to jump in? I think that's all the announcements for today. Barely. Um, yes. Say hi, everyone. Hello. Oh. Hey. Oh. I good. did my hair for the night, so thankful. That is not true. <laughs> it looks like it was raining. <laughs> all there right. we go. I'm on this side. Oh. That's, yeah. that's James. Mm -hmm. Big James is... Yes, yeah. and like I said, world, huh? no Melanie yeah. tonight. He's moving up towards the camera. Yeah. All right. What do you have for us, DM? <laughs> what do I have? <laughs> you guys closed out the evening after a long um, trek through Barovia, stopped at a windmill um, known as, for fans of the old bone grinder, um, dispatched some night hags, some of them, the One of them, back. actually. Yeah. The other disappeared. The yep. other two disappeared. They sure did. No, no, we killed them all. Killed them. They're all dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and <clears throat> that was uh, right before you decided um, that you wanted to try and locate Irina again. Um, and right after, you met with Strahd himself having dinner at his castle. Uh, you returned to Velaki after burning the windmill to the ground and um, followed up on some of the fortune-telling um, hooks that um, Madame Eva had given you at the beginning of our uh, adventure and the campaign. Uh, you got some information, um, and you are now kind of settling in for the evening. Uh, what do you all do before you go to bed? If there's anything that you want to do before you turn in, let me know. Uh, and I'd also like to know who's bunking with who. And then uh, we can go from there. 
Oh, I have to share a room with you guys? Mm. I'm with that. You don't have to. <laughs> <clears throat> you have all the money. <laughs> so you do whatever that you want. That is true. Uh, you do have a, a somewhere you've been staying, as you know, uh, Esmeralda, but it is a ways from where you are, obviously. Um, you guys are currently at the Blue Water Inn. Um, if you remember correctly. And um, there, there is a large room that you guys had rented with four beds. Uh, no, uh, you had rented the two two bedrooms, right? Yes. We, la the previous time we had. Yes, you had. We'll do the same. Okay, yeah, so you'll do the I same. I think there was a group, and then me and you were in one room, was it? Or? Mm -hmm. Yes. Falfer, Sterling, Callie were in one room. Yep. Mm -hmm. You two were, were in another room. You don't have a room currently in well, Wallachie. Well, Falfer dragged me up the stairs and put me in a room. I did put him in a room. So which room did you put him in? I'll, I say we'll, I'll have put him in our room. Because okay. it would have been the room that I could have entered. You know what I mean? Okay. So I just... Yeah, and didn't I go upstairs to go check on... On Falfer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so there was also a room with four other beds in it, so you guys could rent that room in addition if you want um, for the evening. Um, and because of the favor that you did for the family, um, you the, for the Martikovs, you actually have been given free stay. So oh, they, they wow. have actually opened up this other room for you. Um, Thank you very and much. And allowed you to kind of <laughs> spend the night there. Merci beaucoup. Okay. He was looking you, after the kids, so. Uh, yeah. before well. we continue, oh, yeah, I, we had those. I <laughs> we had, did well, have we a didn't question have for the DM. <laughs> yep. We took them. Uh, just for like, like sake of reference, I know that Esmeralda had a large, uh, her own cart that oh. I'm sure is uh, it's elsewhere somewhere, but yeah. I didn't know that we established where it was stashed. Yeah, it, it's where you've been staying for the last number of weeks. Okay, uh, so I'm assuming it is still there and safe, but yes. I'll still be spending the night in this place. Yes. I assume. And I'm assuming they, they open up the four bedroom room, four bedroom uh, for the two kids. They can have their own beds. And then that leaves two more beds there um, where you can stay, Muskoka, if you want. Um, if you want to stay with the kids, and Esmeralda, actually. And then that's perfect. Then you guys can okay. continue right. to keep your same rooms. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, so, can we, can we have a little bit of a chat <clears throat> down, in the, down in the pub area, down in the bar area? The, so, Area. Yeah, so these guys had completed their conversation with uh, Danica. Yep. Um, they started their way up. Are you coming down then? Yeah, because I was I was up. I dragged Muskoka into the room, yep. closed the door, put him in. Okay, so you come back down, and you yep. kind of meet them coming up the stairs. Yeah. Um, Sterling, where are you? Um, well, I would have just come out of the conversation with Danica. Yeah, so okay. the three... Uh, Muskoka's up in the room with the kids. Uh, Esmeralda... You came up to see what was going on. Uh, you kind of crested the stairs, and Falfer was coming back down the stairs. So you can decide what you'll do. Um, and then you guys kind of meet at the stairs. So I have to go talk to my friend. He's clear, oh, well. clearly not himself these days. Oh, okay, well, I was looking for you, so I'll just, if you don't mind. Oh, of course. I really Join don't want to stay up and watch those kids. Join me. I have, some, uh, I have some interesting questions for Sterling. Will you come? Yeah, sure. Okay. Lead the way. We'll go down the stairs. Okay. To wherever Sterling is. Okay, so he, you catch the three of them coming up the stairs. Okay. So you kind of meet mid-stair. Sterling, will you come and have a drink with us? Um, I will sit with you. Will you come and sit with us? Yes. Okay, good. Um, so we'll go down to the... Okay, the... what about these two? No, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm going straight to bed. This day has been very tough. Very, very... No, of course, by all means. Hmm. Get some rest. Hmm. Some retreat. I'll see you in the morning. Yes, of course. A drink does not sound bad to me. I'll join them in the uh, okay. drink room. <laughs> okay, so you guys come down. Uh, the two drunk brothers have kind of stumbled out, and okay. the common room is now empty. Okay. Uh, there's some noise from the kitchen area, mm. uh, probably just cleaning up. For the most part, it's quiet, and you have the room to yourselves. Okay. <clears throat> there are also, other than you... Uh, and Rectavio that you knew at one point, nobody else is staying in the in the inn. So it opens up to the locals, but then uh, afterwards, everyone goes home, and you guys basically have the run of the place. Okay. So I'll sit. I'll sit at the at a table with the others. Yep. <clears throat> and I'll make sure that I'm beside Sterling and just go. Uh, Sterling, I have noticed of late. I'm, I mean, 
you can tell me whether I'm being crazy or not. But I have noticed that uh, you, your temper is <laughs> it's really uh, goes to a boiling point quite quickly. Did uh, is there something that we can help you with? I'm I'm sorry. Um, I don't know exactly why. Um, yes. I just I've been getting a little angry lately. Since helping the kids, though, I I, I feel a bit better. Mm. But it seems when you and Ron had. When you gave in to Strahd, if there's not a better term for it. Okay. It bothered me because I, I felt as though I was traveling with people that I couldn't trust. That any time you choose, you, you could just do something so horrible as to give up someone that we were meant to protect. Um, and that made me very angry, but... I tried to keep that down and quiet. Um, and then when we were in Strahd's place, it bubbled up even more. Mm. And it stayed with me. A and it doesn't feel like me. Mm. It feels separate from... So you feel like you are uh, at odds with yourself? I suppose that might be the correct term. I had spoken to Callie a little, and it feels very much like when we're in the heat of battle and the Warforged programming uh, takes over, mm. when it speaks louder than I do, mm. when I allow it to do what it does best. That's what it feels like. The boy is clearly losing his mind. I, I would not go that far. I mean, I think all of us have... Things inside of us that, if we harness well, uh, whether they are good or bad, we can use them for our purposes. And so, I would encourage you, um, maybe, maybe try and go out to a field somewhere, or, or maybe uh, out from where there are too many people, and and maybe like try to get angry and turn it on, and then turn it off again. Maybe you can learn how to uh, take control of it. Maybe. Like what, yell it out? Yeah, I don't know. I mean... By all means, why don't we have a seance while we're at it? Don't be ridiculous, Falfar. Just... Bottle it down, boy. Take those emotions and you push them deep down inside. Ron, Ron clearly, <laughs> you're not being helpful. Go ahead and go to bed if you like. I'm having a good discussion here about, about one's control mechanisms, ways to take ownership over one's own actions. As am I. Oh, yes. Well, I suggest... That Sterling, this is quite wonderful a trait that you have. And if control could be of great value to you and those around you. You're saying that I could harness the rage. Perhaps. And you're saying that I should push it down. I am. There's I nothing would say good in that let direction, it out boy. when you really want to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Let it all out then. So don't bottle it up. Don't I mean, bottle it in, but like, wait till the right moment, like when you're, I don't know, fighting some hags, or for example, and then that's an appropriate time. Sounds like we have a comfortable middle ground with Esmeralda. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm a big help, I know. Uh, I just, I, I hate to see you guys fight. Oh, well, then there is little chance of you spending much time with us. <laughs> it I seems mean, we disagree often. Very. Ron, why do you seek the darkness? Because I've grown tired of the hypocrisy of light. You've seen the hypocrisy here. Mothers willing to give up their own children for a pie. Yeah, that's messed up. Hiding behind a veneer of civility and light. It's outrageous. There's truth in darkness, boy. There's, there's honesty. 
There's something pure. Yeah, pure darkness. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. Is there not purity in light? I. Well, what would your father have told you? That there is purity in light. I, I would say that the love that a, a child feels from a good parent is purity. I would say, believe what your father tells you, not what this sorcerer crazy-eyed man says. What right. I would say, Sterling, is perhaps you should give some of your own thoughts some weight. Perhaps you should consider what you think about this. What you've heard from your father may be true where you come from, but perhaps that is not the case for Barovia. Good okay. evening. I'm going to stand up and walk up the stairs. Esmeralda, what do you think? Listen, I don't know what this big deal is that everybody's making about Strahd. He seems like a pretty nice guy. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, this place, let's, yeah, sure, it's, it's misty and you can't really see that far in the distance. Yeah, you got parents selling their kids to gypsies. You or like, but like, hey, there's, you, I'm sure there's also good things. You see what's going on with her, right? That what do you she mean? She was charmed the way I was. Yes, exactly. What do you mean, Charm? No, I mean, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, what is so good about Strahd again? First of all, he is like <laughs> super charming and has a great taste in like home decor. Am I right? I mean, we should have stayed there instead of staying at that mill fighting off hags. He does have a nice head of hair. <laughs> he has got great hair. <laughs> you, Sterling, have no hair, so that's, uh, that's a good point. I miss having hair. Oh. <clears throat> Are you talking as... That doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Sorry. <laughs> it's true, but... <laughs> um, sorry, continue. <laughs> when you're I'm just leaving. saying that, like, uh, I don't see what the whole big deal is. Uh, mm. He just seems like he wants... He's a little lonely. He wants to find love. Well, who are we to deny him that? I... Uh... I, uh, I I totally disagree, but I mean I know you're not being yourself right now. Let's just give it some time and have this discuss discussion again, perhaps tomorrow evening. Am I confused at all by what he's saying? Like, how do I how do I feel? About... Uh, give me an Arcana check. Okay. At this point, I'm assuming I've seen charm spells wear off before. Uh, okay, so uh, that yeah. is a twenty-four. Yeah. So you know how the charm spell works. Um, but I don't necessarily, and I know that you might have, uh, you know that you might have kind of the, um, <clears throat> conditions that would come from something like that. Like you're, you like somebody that you maybe didn't like, but it's hard, but it's hard for you to kind of come to terms with that, um, and kind of work that out in your brain. So it's your head and your heart kind of fighting with it itself. Wait, so you're saying that? No, because like he totally made made perfect sense back there, and I don't see why. All I'm just all I'm saying is sleep on it a little bit, <laughs> maybe one day. That's a good idea. Maybe, maybe sleep on it. Huh. Yeah. 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 Okay. As long as I don't have to like babysit. I think the children are with Muskoka. You should be okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you all turn in for sure. the evening. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Can I just say, yeah, while absolutely. it's happening, sure. I'm just going to prepare myself for bed, and yeah. I'm going to take the key that I have yeah. and wrap it around my amulet. I have an amulet that I use to focus, okay. and I'll just have it so that when I'm wearing my amulet, there's also the key hanging there, too. Cool. Very cool. Interesting. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. All right. Um, you all settle in for the evening. Good night, Dimitri. Good night, Ron. Good night, Muskoka. Do we hear him through the wall? <laughs> good, night. Good, good night, Sterling. Good night, Miss Meralda. Good night, John Boy. What? <laughs> uh, Sterling. Um, as you sleep, you dream, um, and one in particular, and you, it, your dreams often go back to happy times with your father and times being sick, um, but this time, um, 
you your eyes open up and you are in the room that you currently sleep in. Um, you're in stasis. Uh, but for some reason, your child brain is, 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 is dreaming. Um, and even though you're awake, you start to see um, the door open slowly within mm -hmm. your room. Um, you look down and your body is that of your child self, your human boy self. Um, but you can't move. Okay. Uh, and you're currently s sitting against the, the, the wall in the back, legs on the ground, but completely still, almost like sleep paralysis. And as this door opens, a bony hand reaches around the door with these long black fingernails and open the door a little further. And this creature begins to pull itself through the door as you kind of sit and peer directly into these soulless eyes that come around the corner. You see purple, bluish skin, long black hair as this creature begins to crawl foot by foot towards you, you not being able to move. It stops and it looks over in Falfer's direction and it begins to climb his bed up the post across the sheets he's completely asleep yeah. Callie is completely asleep in her bed since it's a century's rest I'm not actually asleep I, I'd imagine I can still have something like a dream but I should be able to kind of break out of that would I be able to like do that and stand up and go to fall for give me a wisdom saving throw please okay Yeah, just keeps going. Uh, how wise am I? Load, load, load. Uh, okay, all right. I can do with that. That's 11. Not enough. As she continues to slink up, and she straddles Felfer, yes. and you can <laughs> see, you go, and you know now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sterling. <laughs> and you know now that... This is one of the hags that disappeared. And she kind of looks down at him and she smiles and this slobber begins to like <laughs> pour kind of down this black ichor and onto Falfer's face. And she looks at you with this toothy, toothy grin and you snap out of it. You come back to your century's rest. The door is closed. They're both in their beds. Uh, and you can come out of your century's rest, but that will break your long rest. What do you do? Um, but I can go back in, and, and it resumes the long rest, right? That's yep. what we've done before. Yep. Okay. Yep. So you lose um, whatever time you're you're up for. I'll do that, and I'll go over to Falfer, and I'll kind of, you know, push his shoulder. Falfer. Do I wake up? Constitution saving throw. Constitution. <clears throat> I could give you a full, like, metal <laughs> hand slap across the face, maybe. <laughs> That's a ten. No, plus one. So a minus one, I mean nine. With a nine? nine. Okay, you wake up. Okay. Um, and you kind of come up, but you're kind of still quite groggy. Uh, did you did you spit on me or something? And I don't feel anything, do I? No. Okay. So I'm just like, uh, what, is, what is up? What is, uh, what is wrong, my friend? I, I saw something, like, kind of like a dream or a vision, but it was one of the hags, and it came in through the door, and it climbed on top of you, and oh. it drooled on your face. Oh, that is a scary dream. I, I just, I mean, I don't dream those sorts of things a lot, and, and of course, that was really scary, what we went through before, but I mean, that, this was pretty scary, too, and I just thought maybe that, um, are you okay? Uh, I, I mean... I'm tired, <laughs> but I am, uh, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. I'm okay. fine. Uh, okay. Should, um, uh, I should, guess I, I should let you. Maybe you um, need some rest, my friend. Yeah. Do you rest? Well, I sit down and I watch the door and listen for any potential intruders. But does your mind rest? N no, because this body it does not sleep. It does not have the... It must be very difficult. When I fall asleep, I am 
dead like it like it's like a small pelt of an animal with no no body inside yeah i thought truly it truly dead like it like dead sleeping right yeah so I, I could i turn my brain off completely and then in the morning it works so well i that i mean that sounds really nice and i kind of remember what sleep was like but not very much anymore mm. but um i guess i'll let you get back to it yeah sure thank you okay and if uh, the hag comes and spits on my face again just yeah wake me up again i like that uh, <coughs> thanks for protecting me I, I, yeah i'm gonna sleep now yeah <laughs> all right so i go back Okay. So as you get into your century's rest, in the corner, you swear you see a, sh a silhouette. Yeah. A flash of a silhouette, like somebody standing there. You look back and it's gone. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you get into your century's rest. The rest of the night goes fairly well. Um, Felfer tosses and turns. Um, you can hear him kind of muttering under his breath. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and Callie also sounds like she's talking in her sleep. Um, give me a perception check, please. Yeah, okay. Sixteen. Um, with a sixteen, you hear uh, muttered words, and they're fairly incoherent, as they're kind of she's kind of in a dream state. But you hear, oh, "Not again!" And you hear, "Really? Haven't we done enough?" And that's what you that's that's what you kind of catch from that conversation. Yeah. I'd like you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> wisdom. Twelve. Um, you all wake up the next morning. All of you have, um, <laughs> <That's terrible. laughs> yeah, um, in other words, fail. <laughs> um, uh, just, uh, one thing, Jay, yeah. uh, during the evening, I know I got that one item off the hags or the two pronged thing you were talking about mm -hmm. at some point before I pass out. Can I try okay. and, uh, get a sense for what it does and all that? Yep. Sure. Uh, give me an Arcana check. That's, uh, I believe, a 20. Not natural. Yeah. So um, with the 20, mm -hmm. uh, I told you it's worth. Uh, I'd have to look it up again um, to tell you exactly how much it was worth. Um, but you're not really looking at its worth. You're kind of trying to understand it. Yeah, what it's And it's does. a mundane item that is used as, a, as an arcane focus for a specific purpose. Okay. So in and of itself, it doesn't have any ability. Uh, but it does have value, and quite a bit of value, I think, uh, from okay. what I can remember. Cool. Mm. All right. Sounds good. Um, Falfer, mm -hmm. uh, you wake up, um, and as you wake up, you feel like um, <clears throat> really groggy. Mm. Um, like you haven't benefited from your rest. Like I haven't benefited from a rest? You or? haven't benefited. I, okay. <laughs> that's, okay. Um, okay. Pie withdrawals? No, that's and, good. And, and I, you I have just reset one of my skills. You kind of have uh, your dry mouth, and you wake <clears> up. <throat> it's like you you don't remember not sleeping, but it feels like you you haven't at all. Um, you kind of clutch the bed and try and wake up, and you feel a weakness, like you're not quite at your potential like okay. you do feel in the morning yeah. you're at five points reduced to your maximum hit point yeah. level okay um and as you kind of stand up um you feel kind of a burning sensation on your on your chest under kind of your clothing that you were sleeping in okay so this is like a temporary hit points situation yeah okay mm. okay um is anyone else up that I can tell when I look around? Callie immediately gets up, jumps out of bed, she goes, I gotta pee, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. And she kind of like <laughs> dances her way around the door and out, and out the door. Oh, oh okay. Huh. Oh. It's uncanny how you... <laughs> I know Melon, Melon is Callie. So, um, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put my hand on Sterling's shoulder and I go, Sterling, <clears throat> yes? did, 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 were you able to uh, get some rest at all? Well, what I consider to be rest, yes. I feel, I feel terrible. I woke you up last night. I'm sorry. No, it's. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's fine. I just. Yeah, I usually I wake up like that and uh, have uh, have lots of energy. But right now I'm feeling so. Uh, I just. Drained. Drained. Would uh, I have kind of pieced it at a, I together hear at all? I hear another voice in my head as well. It's like a, the voice of God. 
God or something. <laughs> you hear the voice of God? Well, uh, a God. I'm not sure if he's the he's God. God. <laughs> you know, um, no. I'm, uh, he's repeating most of my words. <laughs> no, I just feel very drained. Oh. You can give me a religion check, please. Okay, just... Mm. That's a plus zero. With a 16. Uh, with a 16, you know what happened, and the fact that he doesn't feel well, there's a correlation that you tie to seeing what you did, and you're pretty convinced as a child that this hag did something to him, whether you're sure of it or not. The dream woman. The, the, the dream woman? The hag. Oh, the, right, right, she, right. She must have done something to you. You, you think so? Y yeah. I'm just, maybe, I mean... It's so strange. I was just, it, yeah, maybe. I don't know. She must have done something when she drooled on your face. <clears throat> she drooled on my face. With what? that, we'll go over to the other room. <laughs> um, the kids start to stir, um, and you kind of wake up with one of them kind of pulling on your on your mustaches, um, and and the other one's kind of like tapping yeah. you on the forehead, yeah. and you kind of wake up, and they're both kind of standing. Smiling oh, at the edge of the bed. This is so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot. Okay. Uh, you. Uh, I'm gonna look around the room. Is, is Esmeralda still sleeping? Yes. Oh, shh. You guys want to go get some food downstairs? Yeah, I'd like that very much. Okay. Let's the boy go. says. Don't wake up, Esmeralda. Okay. She, she's like. Then I then I feel this like pain on my wrist like. Oh, jeez, I forgot about that. <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm out of it now, right? No, no more charm? No. I'm still... Sh no. Oh, that's okay, hours though. I this mean, evening. Yeah. I don't know why, but, like, <laughs> you're still a good guy, so it's all right. Okay, let's, uh, let's go get some food. <laughs> In fact, I have some food on me still, which yep. I stole from everywhere we've gone. Yeah. Uh, so I'll give them uh, a couple of the apples yep. I have. Yep. And uh, we'll start walking out to go downstairs. Okay. Um, but I'd like to knock on their doors as we, as we go. Okay. Uh, and as you're kind of walking, um, the, the boy um, says, uh, Oh, um, I, I, uh, what's your name? Oh, I'm a Skulka. Oh, my name's Freak. Freak? Yes. Oh, and this is Myrtle. Freak Myrtle. Hi. Hi. Myrtle says. And he's those, about seven, she's about five. Those are great names. Um, as you go down, and you hear um, them kind of get up and open the door as Merle does. You kind of start to come to as he walks out with the kids. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> 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 and then I'll throw the covers off of me. And then stretch and try to make sense of everything that's happened and can't. Yeah. yeah. So you can no. say to the kids, uh, oh, wait, I almost forgot something. I'm going to go back and put my armor on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very good. Very wise choice. Very good. Yeah. Good. All right. So you all muster. We'll go back to your room now. You guys start to kind of come to. Um, you feel rested. Um, and uh, you both wake up. Kind of more or less at the same time. <clears throat> Breakfast. I'm with you on that. Sleep well? I think I did. Just get my armor hey guys. On. Have you seen the kids in the Skoka? They were like here, but like, have you seen them? Did Esmeralda? she enter our room? She pokes her head in your room. <laughs> Esmeralda, please, have a sense of pri pr propriety. We're trying to dress in here. Oh, please, it's nothing I've never seen before. <laughs> I'll meet you downstairs. And, and Callie mm. kind of, as you see that, say that, behind you, Callie passes in a towel. Yeah. <laughs> like a, one that's obviously clearly too small. Of course she does. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll be right down. Do you ever feel like we ended up with the wrong group of people? <laughs> I always feel out of place if that's what you mean. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to head down. <laughs> After prejudice, prejudice, a little bit of yeah. prejudication. Thank you. Prestidigitation. Prejudice. All my clothes. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. So you all kind of come down. 
um, get dressed, get your armor on, yes. come down, uh, and and kind of collectively mm -hmm. settle in for breakfast. It's actually quite quiet. There's nobody else in the in the place. Um, Danica comes out, asks you what you'd like, brings out a, an assortment of kind of breakfast food, some eggs, hard-boiled eggs, uh, and some bacon, and some loaves of bread. Um, you imagine it's wolf bacon. Um, oh. <laughs> made from the steaks oh. from the evening before. Yum. <laughs> and, um, nice and fatty. Yeah, yep. exactly. Uh, Callie uh, takes some time to come down, um, and she finally kind of comes and saunters down the, uh, the the steps and kind of sits down, slumps down kind of beside you guys. Um, what do you do during this time? Uh, I'll, I'll wave to the kids and kind of give them the closest thing to a smile I can muster. Um, what are your names? Freak. I'm Myrtle. Do you know how to play hopscotch? Hopscotch. <laughs> well, <they're>, well. <laughs> yes, we do. Can you teach me? Yes, we can. You okay. you know what it's called, but you've never played? I've seen kids play, but I never got to play. I watched from the window, but I didn't get to play. Oh, well, let's... Yeah, you can play with us. Okay, after you're done eating, can you show me? Okay, and they all run and they start to, like, like shove their faces with food. Why I was just getting ready. You don't want to get sick. <laughs> I was just getting ready to start cutting up their food for them. Like they haven't, <clears throat> they've, they've obviously been well fed, but they obviously feeling better about their situation uh, <laughs> since the, the, the evening before. Um, you guys all eat. Go ahead. Yes, Sterling. Why don't you take them to play? Have fun. Don't step on any of them. Oh, I didn't. Well, he hasn't stepped on any of us yet. It's Not true. yet. That's true. Maybe uh, I think they'll be fine. Yeah, like Balfour's the size of the kids, so like he would have been a good test. Balfour's uh, nimble like a rat. Balfour, he'll never be caught. Stunning hasn't mm. stepped on you yet, has he? <laughs> Not yet, no. Hey, yeah, you, you feeling sleep. okay there, uh, Balfour? Uh, I'm feeling like I did not get the rest I needed. Maybe if you, if you could just you. slow down. Yeah, you don't look little. so good. He may have stepped on me in the night. I'm not sure. Perhaps, maybe he kicked me. I'm not sure. I just, no. It was just a poke on your shoulder, I promise. No, you, but you were saying it was the hag. He was saying it was the hag. I, I, when I was laying, sitting down, watching the door, I, it was like a dream or a vision or something, and I saw... You had a nightmare. One of the hags come in the room, and it climbed on his bed. I guess a nightmare. It's I, I, been a long time, but... Climbed oh on his sword. bed, and on top of him, and it drooled on his face. Okay, no more details. Uh, That's gross. kind of a no, of no. Story. You see, the, ki the kids just go white mm. as all the blood kind of rushes out of their faces. I'm sorry, kids. Maybe and I should have kind of said this. She's when... back. No, it's just a dream. Don't worry. Was it just? Who's dream? back? I don't think so. Because look at him now. Was it just a dream? It looks like he was woken up in the middle of the night and had a poor sleep. I think it was real. I'm gonna take a. She's here. I'm. I'm gonna well, take a not, leaf. I don't see her. From my pouch, and I want to cast uh, detect poison and disease on him. On who? Thavar. Yeah. Okay. Thavar. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> explain how you do it. Oh, so I take my leaf out here and my pouch. <laughs> and I'm just gonna like kind of start like rubbing it on him and say, "Don't worry." Uh, what I'm are you doing? Seeing if you got some disease. Just I stay still. I, Stop making your weird noises. I've got no yeah. disease. And I'll, yeah. Okay. So and as you, uh, is there vo vocal, yep. verbal, no, and somatic components? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, those are the precise uh, words. And it comes back negative from what you see. Oh, good news. <laughs> uh, give, <laughs> no, no, but but give me a moment. So I'm going to. Uh, hmm. I'm going to use my primeval awareness mm -hmm. and uh, use an action to expend a ranger spell slot mm -hmm. to sense whether any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead are present within one mile of us. Ooh. Celestials, fiends, or undead? And no, elementals, elementals? Fey, uh, fey, fiends. Fey's. Or undead, celestials, and aberrations as well. And I dragons. Think the answer is yes. Millions. Did you say fiends? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. How many miles? Six miles? Uh, six miles. Yeah, no. I'm going to use uh, really? Divine Sense 
and I can sense anything. Is it six miles within your? Do you know exactly where terrain? they are? I forget I what do, primeval awareness. Is. I do not. I'm not notified of where they are. I'm just aware that they are within six miles. You sense uh, the presence of undead within a six mile radius, okay. for sure. Yeah. Um, no celestials, no fiends. Okay. No fey. No fey. I'll I'll use divine sense. Yeah. Which is um, similar. But I can sense anything affected by the hell spell or know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Yeah, nothing. Um, um, I'd like to use uh, common sense. And <laughs> you only have two now, of those. Could, <laughs> you've never used that before. So strange. <laughs> Couldn't it just be a dream and you had a bad night's sleep? Perhaps it's too early to assume the worst. Perhaps there is something at foot, uh, something at issue, but... Isn't it more likely that you just had a bad night's sleep, Falfar? I mean, potentially, yes. You're probably correct, but I certainly <clears throat> do not feel great. <laughs> and if this... Yeah, you don't look so good. It looks yeah, terrible. Thank you. That's I always look this bad. way. This is how I look. So thank you for that. I'll turn to one of the oldest. You got it, buddy. He's certainly no Strahd. Is Freak the oldest? Hey. <laughs> yeah. He, he, that he is not. Sorry, buddy, but, hey. you know. Listen, I'll I'm... Not Strahd, that's true. <laughs> I'll I'll lean, lean over to Freak, yeah. and I'll say, has anything like this ever happened to you when you were with them? N no. Um, we had nightmares, but that was just because it was a scary place. I, I don't think I want to play hopscotch anymore. Aww. Oh, Falfer, look what okay. you done, me. Whoa. You mean Way sleep? to ruin the mood, Falfer. You mean sleep poorly? Couldn't you have let the boy have his fun? You guys should play hopscotch. There's no worry. It's it's okay if they don't want to. I'll, I'll turn to the kids and go, listen, kids. Huh. I am sometimes uh, crazy, make up weird stories. This is probably just a crazy dream. And uh, by all means, you should play with Sterling. He's a good uh, player of games. Deception Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not deceiving them. You're telling them it's probably not a dream? Well, it was probably wasn't real and it was only a dream and well, you know... He also said he's a good player of games. That it was more he's never that. played. Okay, so but okay. does it take much to lie to kids? Does it? Does it? No. <laughs> well, I, I have a DC in mind. Um, <laughs> Three or higher. Deception check, you say, and because I'm quite talented uh, deceiving people, I rolled a thirteen. Mm, that is enough. Uh, he says, "Okay, if you think it's safe." I do. Okay. I really do. Not to mention, look at how big and strong he is. Yes. He will protect you. Yes, he look. He does look strong. Yeah, every kid wants a Warforged friend. Every kid. Yes. Does he transform? <laughs> you mean into like I a little char? Tried. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had, no, but I, he may be a I robot had, in disguise. I had one of Blink's, Blinksy's toys, and 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 it was a it was a cart that turned into a man. Oh yeah, Blinksy you know makes those. I don't think you can turn into a, into a wagon or anything. Uh, he makes tried. great toys. <laughs> I'm not sure huh. how to even start. Transforming toys almost magical. No, it was just really well made, I think. Genius, where's Blinksy at? He's in Velaki, he has a shop huh. nearby. Hmm. No, Ledger, you're not a toy. I, no, no, I'm not. As you guys can continue eating your breakfast, um, Callie kind of leans over to you, Sterling, as she's sitting beside you. She goes, Sterling, you said you had a dream? Yes. Well, uh, sort of. I had one, too. Um, and I don't tell people about these, but my whole thing, you know, the, the abilities I have and all that stuff. Uh, Wings. I get, um, somebody kind of speaks to me. I don't talk about it a lot because people think I'm... Uh, but um, it is a reoccurring vision that I have. Um, I have a guardian angel that kind of gives me and speaks to me in visions, um, and I keep having the same vision, and it's the vision of a mountainside uh, and a sun that rises above this mountainside, um, like it's drawing me there. Um, and he tells me to do good things sometimes through visions and so on, but anyways... I thought I should tell you because I wanted to share it. 
the sun, like the one in in the church? Like the sun rising behind this mountain. And there's like a building with like a sun on it. Oh. Do you think it's a real building? I don't know. I've seen it many times. I've, he's, he's usually never wrong. Like that's a place we should go? I get the sense that that's the case. Do you think it might be that, is it Markovia? Is that the name of it? Mm -hmm. The Abbey. Maybe we should go. It sounds familiar. Would, would you guys... Or we could just stay here and drink. I'm, I'm good. I, you know, I don't like to usually follow. I mean, he urges me and he's like, there's a cat in the tree and there's a cat in the tree. Fine. People always ask me to help, and I just so we're so listening. done with it. We're we're all aware of this. Kind of yeah, She's whispering. You guys can give me perception checks to see if you guys can yeah, hear. I would like to. I would like to very much. She thinks 14. she's whispering. She's not. Twenty-two. So she's not whispering very much. No. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Well, anybody under a ten. <clears throat> I got here, here. Ah, okay. Wait, over here. But you can tell she's trying to huh. confidently. Under a ten. Over a ten. You're saying yeah, you, look. I heard it. He said it to me clearly. <laughs> you have communication with, with the. Oh, who is this? I didn't really want everybody to know, but it's it's an angel. It's uh, <clears throat> it's like a guardian that I have that speaks to me. Now is this open? Mm. Oh, you know, yeah. like no big no. deal. Yeah. I just have an angel that talks to me and tells me what to do. Well, oh, better than my dreams. My dreams are like usually like my recurring ones is me naked in school having a t test and like I didn't study. Oh, I have those dreams too. Um, but that one sounds like, Esmeralda? you know, like an actual one. <laughs> Last night I did. No. Sorry. Uh, anyways, um, and she goes, Danica, can I get, is it too early for wine? I, um... <laughs> Wait, no, Danica, before I, that, uh, just... Yes. We, we might need to follow this voice. And maybe we should start listening to it more. Oh, no. I've, I listen to it all the time. I just don't usually follow it. You know, Dimitri um, might be right. We might have to... What is he telling you to do again? It's been drawing me to this place. This mount, it, There's a mountain, and the sun rises above this building. The building has a sun on it. The sun rises. I thought I told you guys Esmeralda, about this Esmeralda, does that sound familiar to you? What? Can I ask her? Anyway, Esmeralda, give me a history check. Sure. Maybe it has uh, to do with the um, but with a fifteen, you know that there are a number of. Um, hmm. Give me his. Uh, give me a religion check as well. Okay. Uh, seventeen. Okay, you know that there are a, a couple uh, mountain ranges uh, in Barovia, uh, <clears throat> to the north and the south. Uh, you know through the studying that you've done of Van Richten's materials um, that the there is Kresk is in the mountains um, or is starting into kind of the foothills of the mountains and it's like cold and there's snow there um, and um, you know that there is a abbey and when we, they talked about the abbey of St. Markov uh, were you part of that conversation last night with Danica? I don't believe so. I no, think I might you went have gone up, you went upstairs. upstairs. Yeah, you just you know that there's an abbey to the Morning Lord up there. Listen, I know that there's like the sun doesn't shine in many places here, but there is, according to Van Richten's studies, who I who I was uh, who I was uh, following for a while. There are these mountains in Kresk and the foothills that have like snow and there's like an abbey there and I know that they worship the sun lord so maybe that's where the sun thing is and maybe that's where we're supposed to be going. We should go. That's it. That has to be it. It's, it's probably it. It must be it. Would you know how to lead, lead us there? Would I know how to lead them there? <laughs> um, with your roles, you know it's to the west. You've never been there yourself. You just have read about it in his paperwork uh, and in his research. Um, and you know it's you take the Svalik Road left, uh, west, basically, and it's it's just inside the mist, like it basically borders the 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 Barovia mists. I mean, like I've never been there myself, but if you you know, take the road west, it should lead there. It's in that direction. 
But are we trying I don't to know get how Irina? many more Abbeys there should be. Are we just trying to get Irina for Strahd? You think she's there? Like, I don't want to let him down. We should got to find her and bring her back to him. More importantly, what are we going to do about these children? We can't just drag them along. Yeah, if well, they're not fighting, they're just like mouths to feed. I really don't want well, to. I don't know about dumping them, but we could probably f find someone to love them. I don't eat As too much. <laughs> Esmeralda, would the Abbey be interested in helping children? I mean, it's an Abbey, probably. Hmm. What do you think, uh, children? Would well, you like to go live with at the Fun Abbey on the mountain? Hmm. I mean, it, <laughs> anywhere here, I don't know if it's it's very fun, but um. I know my parents didn't want me. It sounds like maybe you guys don't either. No, no. We I don't. don't. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Uh, no. That's no. not it at all. That's don't not patronize the children. Don't. We don't. Don't listen to Mr. Grubb. You don't? Oh, no. No, we, 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 we are not do. your parents. We can't be watching after you. We, don't we will find you we, we adequate watch care. You, and take care of you and, like, get you to Irina. We will find you adequate, adequate and care. And then that Irina Could you use that silence spell again on my friend? You gotta slow down just a little bit. I think I also, got Also, like, it. kids, like, we have to, like, battle things all the time. There's, like, evil things chasing us. There's it's irresponsible to bring children. You would not want to be around the things that we have to be around all the time. This is actually for Thank you, things. Esmeralda. But you're speaking of them as if they are worse than monsters. Than no, I am regular. not. I am I'm saying not. that they hey, are listen. an inconvenience that we cannot take on. Oh, All I was saying, I was just very honest in that I don't have the best maternal instincts and they would not be the best in my life. Fine, fine. You do nothing with them. You please do not even look at them. And we will take them to be, to the Abbey. How about you, me? It's a very safe place. Is, is, we know nothing about the Abbey. Is Irina at the Abbey? Or is that where what I'm hoping she I'm is? trying to find out. Perhaps we don't know where she is, but if maybe there are others at the Abbey and who can. If Callie's dream is anything to go by, there may be someone there who has answers for us. Can okay. We? You will probably be safer there than with us for any long period of time. Okay. Much safer. Valaki seems like quite a safe place as Barovia goes. Perhaps with it would who? be more responsible to leave them here. There's a temple in town. I'm sure the priesthood would take on the children. Oh, did you just do something good? I don't want the inconvenience of the children. Oh, it sounded you like you were trying to take care of them. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I don't care about Very the... considerate <laughs> offer. Quite, wow. quite nice, actually. Very C darkly Callie, considerate. Callie just finishes guzzling her first cup of wine for, with breakfast. And she goes, uh, the priest, the vampire lord killed the priest, remember? Yeah, he was on fire. He was vampire oh, lord? Oh, yeah, let's not go there. Well, let's There's just think vampires about here? Up okay, so how about we take the kids just who are clearly not wanting to stay where there is a vampire lord? He lives on the How mountain. about we take oh. you to the abbey? Is everyone okay with that? Oh, yeah. I think we should. I yes, th and I think we should all be going there, not, th like, split up. I, yeah, I yeah. agree, of course, yes. Uh, you can sit on my shoulders. I think we would I was going okay. to suggest we get a guard, but you know, that's probably not that's, a good idea. That How about better. we no. pay Danica to watch over the children in the interim till Irina can take them? Uh, so, so far, you said that's yes, and you said yes, and you said yes, Esmeralda, and Sterling has said yes, and I have said yes, and Ron, you are holding out. Why? Let's just take the kids with us. Because it makes no sense. You don't just bring children in on, onto an unknown adventure where there may or may not be danger. We don't know anything about the Abbey. We don't know anything about the pathway to the Abbey. We know nothing, and you are proposing that we take children into not knowing anything. Uh, of the course, actually... Children, the Abbey was from Callie's dream, and the voice prompted her to go there. Oh, yes, by all means. Let's just assume every voice that people hear in their head should be listened to. Well, so far it's worked out pretty well. It has worked out pretty well. When yeah. we hear heard voices, yeah. we also get um, potions or necklaces or... I would say the voices are pretty good so far. <laughs> Do what you wish. They're none of my business. We got a necklace. And I'll just ignore the rest, I guess. Mm. Okay. So, right, who has that? Oh, you have oh, was it, No, I'm sorry. It? The orb. Right? Was it the orb? Was it? I'm sorry. I mistook it Is for someone a necklace. wearing the orb as a necklace? Yes, he was wearing it like a necklace. Wait, a someone got long, a necklace? Oh, necklace. yeah. Falfer has some necklace. You got a necklace from the children? There's a necklace? <laughs> I have no idea what Did you're talking about. Did it have the bag? Huh? With the wings? Did, did the voice in your head lead you to it? No, nope, no voices. What's it made out of? I've not... I've, what? The, what? Falfer... 
Do you have something to tell us? Listen, listen, my friends. <laughs> I, I was talking about the orb that we all follow all the time. Is Do I believe That Sterling has on his string. Easy. Is he like a deception That's check? Give me, give me a perception <laughs> check. A perception <laughs> check? Yeah. Okay. You see that none of us believe you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at the orb with the string uh, tied to it, or the rope tied to it. It's like, this okay. doesn't look like a necklace. Um, yes, that is a... Uh, 24. Okay. You feel uh, a little hand dig oh. into one of the pouches where they saw you stow a certain necklace. Okay. Uh, and you feel kind of that, I, that I, happening. I, I grab the hand. <laughs> okay. okay. And I hold the hand of the child. And I okay. Go, Do we see It's this? the little girl. It's, it's a little Myrtle. Hi, Myrtle. What are you doing? Show them the necklace. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, no. Show us the necklace. Yes. It's a, Pretty yes, little, that was, it was the, the necklace. necklace. Oh, is you're great, Myrtle. I give the, her another like. The necklace is not like for you to talk about, Myrtle. <laughs> see, see. Give me intimidation oh, check. Oh, I'm in your spot, Myrtle. Give me inti oh. intimidation <laughs> check. <laughs> Uh, can I, can I uh, cast Mage Hand to send a hand behind where you can see uh, to where sure. I saw her? Sure. Uh, you can do that, but give me a uh, Arcana check to see how well you sneak it through. Sure. For the four team. Yeah, that's a 13. Um, she says, nobody talks to me like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, that's right. You're, you're well, taller than And I'm taller than you are. <laughs> um, you're right. I let, you're absolutely right. I will not speak to you like that again. And it's very wrong that people have spoken to you like that in the past. Isn't it, everyone? Balfour is clearly I don't know. I'm us. starting to change my mind about my kid thing. I, I like her. <laughs> Dimitri, what think you? He's clearly lying to us. Balfour, will you produce this necklace for us or not? What necklace are you talking about? The one that Myrtle The one that she's about. talking uh, about. Th it was a 13, by the way, on the Arcana. Okay. Give me a, uh, the perception check. What was your perception check? Before? 24. Okay. Uh, you see this kind of <laughs> ghostly hand kind of come from under the table and around, I, and it's trying to get to I the I grab the, pouch. the bag with the okay. necklace around okay. yeah. in it, and I, I yeah. go, fine, fine, fine. I found a necklace at the top of the tower when we were there, and we burned it down. I did not want it to go to waste, so I protected it with my life. For all of us. How brave of you. Right? Falfar. Thank you, Esmeralda, for the vote of confidence. I I'll just can't look at you the same right now. Although, on the other hand, I've never trusted you, so this is, you know, pretty on par for what I, you do. I pay very little attention to what you think of me anyway, so thank Show you. Show us the necklace, Falfar. Did you think that you shouldn't have it? What? Why did you hide it? Did you think that you shouldn't have it? Yeah, no, I forgot yeah, why, about, why did I you forgot hide about it? it until the children talked about the necklace. Oh, wait, did you uh, did you take it out for us to see, or are you just yeah. hold? No, it? I yeah, had yeah, the I had oh. the bag. The bag. In my hand. And there's uh, you, yeah. you don't see the necklace though. Will yeah. you show us the necklace, Falfar? Yeah, if the children brought it to us, let's see it. It wasn't one of yours, was it? And I will show you the necklace. No, he found it in the windmill. It's no, it's no big deal. It's in the a trade by the children. I'll show you. Um, Give me just a second. Well, oh, see, they're useful. You're looking for another necklace? No. <laughs> <laughs> if okay. he had that kind of foresight, just bravo. Myrtle <laughs> says, I take it. Falfi, honesty is always the best politics. <laughs> she says, Falfi, yeah. honesty is always the best politics. <laughs> yeah. That's what she says? Yeah. Yes, Falfi, it really is. Yes, You're very yes nice. Falfi. Uh, I'm just sort of smiling <laughs> coldly as I as I okay. you know egg him on now. So I uh, so I go I go and I I um I pull my m my hands towards the pouch. I look back and I reach into my bag. Okay. For a holy symbol that I have. Okay. That I'm carrying in my okay. equipment pack. Okay. And and I attempt to pull it. Slide out. a hand. Okay. Do we are perception checks. Clever. Clever boy. Clever boy. <laughs> Oh, I hate Dean Dean Young. Please just. Ooh, uh, that's a 23. 23. 13. 13. And you said uh, a sleight of hand? Yeah. That. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's a 19. Okay, 19. Okay, then. That is an 8. <laughs> Everyone notices that you're trying <laughs> is, to is, pull. Is he? That's uh, the wrong uh, bag. All right, okay, here's the pouch. And I show the purple pouch. And, ah. Okay, fine, here's the necklace. Here. Okay. You want, you like it? You like it? Look, there it is. Look, there is a necklace. If you don't no, mind. No, I do mind. Thank you very much. You stay your distance, Mr. Man. Do you know what it does? 
Uh-huh. Yeah, selfie. Do you know what it does? I have no clue what it does, but none of you found it. So have you put it on? is this not a human sized? So so it's a, it's a human sized necklace. It's it kind of glimmers uh, bright gold, and it's got three little orange beads yeah. on it. Yes, from perhaps this I wonder if any of the magic casters within our group might put it to better use. I don't I can know. Think of three. I can like, f- uh, if we had a useful magic caster in our group, you might be right. Uh, <laughs> I would like to cast... Uh, for how dare you! <laughs> no, I shouldn't do this. You're clearly lying to us. I'm not. I'm and you're holding... misdirecting us by, 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 by making me the issue. Well, here is... Here. far, you lied about it. Why? Because I was trying to hide it. Why? Why? <laughs> remember, this is part of the course. You I'd like to... Uh, Even if it doesn't it. actually hit him, can I cast Mage Hand to just slap him across the face? <laughs> oh, even, if, even if it does nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what you I have, do. So it's a wispy hand, right? It's a wispy hand. Yeah. But it still has uh, enough to pick up things and do things. Pounds. Can it do damage? No. 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 But it can pick up 10 pounds of weight and then drop Yeah, so it down. there's resistance as it goes through. Yeah. But you feel like you've so, been hit by a gust of so wind. like, oh. Yeah. What? Esmeralda! On the other hand, I'm going to use mine to do the other cheek. <laughs> <laughs> With all of this going on, I'd like to quietly walk around the table yeah. cool, cool. and pick up his bag and dump it on the table. Okay, do you want him to do that? No. Okay. It's while he's getting slapped in the face. I want to use that time of distraction. Stealth check. Walk around. Perception check. All right. um, 17. Callie's starting her second glass of wine. She just doesn't give her face. 13. He rolled a 17. So I'll just okay, yeah. slowly walk around through Before all the Before you re-recognize it, he's pulled his bag and he just starts to dump it on the What on are the, you doing, you, 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 table. you, you, you crazy looking buck tooth thing? Whoa. Hey, purple. What is purple. Does Callie see her dagger? Those are nice words, but like, <laughs> did you, all these things are yours or are you just stealing everything? You're all my things. Please leave them alone. And I well, I'm just curious. I'll pull them back into my bag. Do I see things? the pie? Um, Was it packaged with anything? <laughs> There's a pie that yeah, tumbles down. I'm trying out, to hide, yes. And there is a magical dagger that also right. tumbles out. <laughs> no, the magical dagger and was not in... I sheathed it. In what? <laughs> in, my, in my dagger sheath on my belt. Where are your other daggers? <laughs> <laughs> Those are in my bag. So you had the dagger openly on your belt. Yes. No. For everyone to see. Her yeah. magical dagger that is very unique. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we are just learning oh so much God. today about this. No one was gonna notice. Okay. No way so, this goes so well. the the pie tum- armed the magic dagger. The new pie tumbles out onto the thing, along with. Do you want to explain what is in? In my pouch. Yeah. yeah. Well, sorry. Was, oh, what, was the was the dagger in your bag or was it on? No, it was on. on your... It was on me. Okay. It was on me. Um, as the are the arrows the... on okay. my. And you weren't trying to hide the dagger. You just sheathed it in a yeah. somewhere that. Okay. In, in a dagger sheath. Okay. You were clearly trying to hide it during last session, though. Uh, no, I picked it up last session. I picked and I Sneakily. hid the fact that yeah, I picked it up. Yeah, but you did it hidden. Yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I couldn't put it in the sheath. Yeah. Um, okay, so I have gosh, manacles along. <laughs> along. <laughs> what high? A, 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 a steel mirror. Um, <laughs> Sir, what did you say? Pie, clank, clank. Pie made out of children. Kind of and oil, up. an oil flask, oh my stage, gosh. tinderbox, oh my torch, God. my ikelwaz. Are in my bag. What yeah. is it? It's just a spear. So, so we just, discussed that. So they tumble. Everything tumbles out. I have a couple letters. Meat um, pie from the, the Barovian families and the meat pie. pie. A couple letters. See, if all yeah. these things are yours, there's no worry to be, you know, you showed them. Uh, uh, Felfer, I think maybe you forgot to destroy one of the pies. Yes. Oh, I must. Oh, yeah. I thought I'll go and sit down. I'm no, you're. Like, no, oh, you're oh, right. Oh, I, I oh, totally oh, forgot oh, to. Uh, is that my dagger? Oh my god, are they also the, are the kids still here when they see the pie? Yeah. Oh, this is your dagger? Yes. I thought it was from the the hags. I didn't the... remember to pick it up, but I know that that's my dagger. Well, and then here, I'm so sorry. Here you go. Uh, did you pull it mm, <laughs> close and she got to take she there puts you it back uh, in. I uh I know I, I it fell on the ground must have fallen when we were fighting. Deception check. Okay. This doesn't look good. But Felfer, if you wouldn't mind. A nine. Okay. What? Clearly, this is a case of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually a bunch of. It's other like things. she's here. As, 
It's actually a bag of equipment. <laughs> but uh, I do not have my case of bullshit with me. I left it. Valfer, why did you keep one of the pies? Yes, Valfer, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's really messed up. You need to destroy it. Right uh, now. No, I, I, like, uh, like bury it or something. I, I our friends it. are in there. No, not your friends. You don't know these ones. I'm gonna. I'm pick pretty up sure the they pie. knew who went in there. <laughs> I want to pick up the pie and okay. I'm gonna go oh. outside with it. Wait, I, I rest a heavy, heavy hand on like, like my whole hand probably stretches across his <laughs> yeah. shoulders. Yeah. So, so I, I, yeah. how about you sit right here? I will sit down. I'm sitting. Look, this is me sitting. Look, don't push anymore. I'm sitting down. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Do you begin to see my point, oh, Sterling? Okay, my friends. I see clearly. Listen. Listen. The pie, I could not let go. I have a slight, uh, I do not want know why, to be honest. I could not let go of the pie. Forgive me. I am at odds with, uh, with myself. But the, the pearls or the necklace, I chose to protect it for our good. And the dagger I picked up during battle because I sat on the stairs and I was going upstairs <laughs> and so I got it. <laughs> so the pearls you protected for our own good, then you know what they do. Oh, well, I assume that if they are magical, like the other things we got in the bags, that we would need to find out what they do. Because we do not know what they do. And you didn't think to approach experts? I have been asleep since yesterday after we came to the building. Why? Looking at the uh, necklace, can, we, can I tell what it Arcana is? Arcana check. The same thing if I could. Arcana check. Oh, it's an eight. That's a 15. Well, he's going to know. No. Well, okay, you don't know? <laughs> I mean, he's going to spend some time with it to know. Yeah, yeah I probably need to examine it. Well, Falfo, <laughs> I think in order to prove yourself worthy, mm. I would like to watch you destroy this pie. It's, a, it's on its way out the door. By destroy, yeah, he doesn't mean eat it. Yeah. Hey, Muskoka just left with it. Wait, wait, just well, one minute. Oh, well, yeah. So just I'll turn around and come back. What? Just uh, place the pie on the table. Okay. I need to watch you destroy the pie. I think you need to be clear with oh. what you mean about destroy the pie. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <destroy>. <laughs> he doesn't mean eat it. I mean, I could destroy I, a pie too, but like not this one. <laughs> is there any? Oh my goodness! Is there any check? Is there anything? Sorry. I um. On the pie. For. A, I'm sorry. I was reading about the necklace. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? So they brought the pie back. Yes. Into, Dimitri's basically demanding that I destroy the pie. Yes. So Wisdom saving throw. Okay. That'll be easy. <laughs> Valfer is so wise. Oh. Uh, sorry. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, that's a six. <gasps> no, that, but that's with a bonus four. So that's good. So six. Was, oh, it was a so two. Two, two plus four. Two plus four. Okay. Yeah, you're you're having a really tough time coming to terms with destroying this pie. Yeah. And My friend, I think you should destroy it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I look at the pie, and I look at Sterling. <laughs> I'm gonna be just leaning back, sort of just smiling, just like enjoying the fact that it's not me. <laughs> Who's being condemned? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I'm uh, also very much enjoying this. Enhanceability. Yeah. Um, I, can, I can give advantage on a wisdom check. Would that count towards a wisdom saving throw as well? Uh, no, uh, no, that's a check. It's mm -hmm. different than saving throw. But that said, um, while you're all c c having this conversation, Freak grabs the pie. I'm going to give you a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Or, or dex. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'll say a saving throw yep. to try and stop him. Okay. If you decide to. Yeah, I'll try Is to it stop Freak? Him. Yeah. Oh, it's Freak. No, Freak. Who names our kid Freak? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. terrible parents. Terrible parents. parents. <laughs> okay. Yeah. With an 11, are you trying to stop it? Yeah. Okay, so he grabs it like this. Do not touch! And your hand... Yeah. You, you grab him to yeah. stop him? Yeah, I'll grab Physically, so he has now grabbed Freak's wrists, yeah. who is trying to pull the pie from him. And I'll just say, I'll just say calmly, I'll say, put your hands back in your pockets. Strength athletics check, please. <laughs> And I'm gonna say, now, freak, he has to do this himself. Can you believe what you're seeing here? I kind of want to just squeeze a little bit on his head. <laughs> Sorry, you said strength, Jay? Yeah, strength athletics. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's a nine. <laughs> it's enough. 
Oh. So he is a little boy yeah. who's not very strong. So you manage to kind of hold him, and he Man he, he kind of he he let he lets go okay. and kind of sits back in his chair and stares don't, at you. Don't worry, Sam. We're getting this sorted out. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so glad I'm, I'm not in your position in right my now. pocket, and I'm just gonna take a piece of uh, straight piece of iron out of my pocket and just hold it like this and yeah. watch for what Balfour does. Okay. Can I ready in action? Should I ready yes, in action? Yes, you can ready in action. <clears throat> if he tries to take a bite of the pie, yeah. I'm going to cast Hold Person. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to take the pie out of the room with my extra movement. Oh. Okay. Opportunity to attack. <laughs> no. Nope. All right. In fact, your move you move like you the wind can't. until the spend ends. Your ah. movement doesn't provoke opportunity. Where do you ah. go? Where do you go? Uh, I I'm uh, leaving the room, so out the main door. Okay. And How does this work? You just run really fast. Yeah. You have to make a straight yeah. attack. Yeah. If we mine. have to roll initiative over pie, like I don't know. <laughs> this has been like yeah. a initiative. Okay. Pie. So 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 go so ahead. Just, so how far? I'm, I'm just gonna try to hide. I can do. Sorry, uh, it's, I'm not sure how much because it doesn't. Thir- increases by 30 feet, so 60 feet total. So 60 feet. Yeah. So 55. All of a sudden, there's there's a blur. Falfer and the pie are gone. Huh. Um, they that you see he has ran run outside at at, at staggering speed. Um, I'd like you all to roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> I'm, gonna, go. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, and the drinks on the table. Saw that coming. Yeah. <laughs> Callie goes, Dana, can, can I have a third, please? She looks oh, back. Dana is not no. there. Um, but she goes, oh. Here we go. All right. Uh, so <laughs> <funny>. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm not even going to, like, so okay. you would have exited the whole. Yeah, he's, yep. he's gone. He is out the door, and you don't know where to after that. Yep. 25 to, uh, 20 to 25. 19 to 20. 16. 19 to 20. Oh, no, sorry. You said 19 to 20. Never sorry, mind. 15 sorry. to 20. Sorry. 16 16. To 20. 16. 16. Okay, who has the highest decks between Esmeralda and uh, Sterling? I have... Mine's a four. I, yeah, I have a plus two, so you're, you go first. Okay, yeah. so Esmeralda's first. She's Sterling. <laughs> Is this happening? <laughs> Uh, it's a good thing I built all this Dwarven Forge terrain in front of us. This, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, this, this is, is going to be great next episode. <laughs> uh, 10 to 15. I just got a 15. 15? Yeah. For initiative you're talking about, right? Falfer. <laughs> you're off in, like, Kuwait. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 5 to 10? 6. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, one to five. Four. Okay. Four. Oh, nice. which one has the higher higher decks? Do you have higher than a minus two? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Okay. Well, uh, yes, I do. All right. Uh, Esmeralda, you see um, Falfer go out the door, uh, and you have 30 feet, so you get to the outside. I have 55 feet. Uh, with... with 30 feet over over and above your, your regular yes. movement. Yep. Um, but you move, you can move that 60 all fast, or is it just added to your movement? Can you, do you have regular movement after that, after that 30 feet? Um, Try to figure out, like... It's, it's, I guess it would be considered yeah. a surprise round for him. It is, first. exactly. Yeah. That's so what, that's what we figured. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so, you've, you, so you run outside, and then you get 30 feet from there. Okay. Um, I wasn't planning on running Velaki today, so let me just bring up the map <laughs> of Velaki. <laughs> so that it's all good. I like this. This is great. Um, this Did is a lot of fun. <laughs> all fun. No, they didn't. <laughs> no. They're like, the, the, the children didn't roll, and Callie, <laughs> didn't, <laughs> and, and yeah. Callie didn't roll because she's just oh enjoying the, the action. Who do you blame okay. for this, Valfar? So you come out of right now? You, you come out of the of the inn. <laughs> Um, and there are, I'd say, two buildings left and right that are within that 30-foot distance. Okay. Um, is there any way... Is Zephyr Strike a bonus action to, to or react or reaction to cast, or is it an action? It, it, it's an additional damage uh, just says bonus action. 
Okay, so it's a bonus action. So yeah. you still get an action, actually, as part of this. Okay. So you move, you Zephyr Strike, you move really quick, you yeah. get to the building. You yeah. have two buildings that you could get to within distance. I can't get to behind this tavern? You uh, you could go around the corner if you wanted to, okay. but just basically around the corner. Okay. Um, and then you can take an action to hide if you'd like. That's what I'll do. Okay. I'd like you to give me a stealth check, please. Okay. Also, the contents of your bag is still on the table. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Did it yes. all for the yeah. <laughs> uh, Esmeralda, what do you do? Um, how how much am I able to catch up with him if I run after him? Um, you basically run out the door, and you get to the to just outside the doorway. Um, mm -hmm. And he is, and give me a perception check, please. You could have used okay. your action to dash on top of him. I could have dashed on top of him. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. Oh. Uh, you can, don't see him. You come out, and he's gone. Ah, crap. Okay. Uh, Nimble. All right, then. Um, 23 on my stealth. Okay. Hmm. Do you want to take an action? I, well, I don't see where he is, so I, I just kind of, like, will wait to see if I can see what direction he's headed in. So I'm just surveying. You're trying, area. are you trying to kind of figure out the direction he went in? Yes. Give me a survival check. And this will be your action. Okay, that is a dirty 20. Okay, so you are trying to... Uh, it looks like the tracks go right around the building a little bit, but then they, they then you can't tell because it was in kind of the dirt... It was, they were in kind of dusty dirt, and then they disappear okay. onto the cobble. Well, on my next... Uh, that's the direction I will head in. Okay. Uh, Sterling, you're up. Fall for your own deck. All right. <clears throat> so I'll bolt out right after okay. Esmeralda. Okay. Um, and I'm just... Uh, you get out, you yeah. basically almost hit her on the way out, because she's right in the, just outside the doorway, so you kind of come around her, um, what do you do? Where did he go? Can I answer him on my... Yeah, uh, you can answer him now. Oh, he went right, I just don't know where. Alright, uh, so I'll use all of the movement, including dash, in the direction that she points. Okay, so uh, it looks like he just goes to the right. There's a building to the right, and there's a there's a, a road past that or path, and then uh, you can also go around the building. There's a couple different buildings. Uh, right. So I have no idea direction from there. No. Okay. All right. No. And I would suggest that you pass me notes for where you go from now on. Okay. Yeah. Um, is there mm. any Text way me for notes, me to or do you want no map? Like, do I get a sense oh. for what the map looks like? Uh, you get nothing. I okay. <laughs> <laughs> Except for a bye. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, how the mighty. We can, we can, you can just tell me what you want to do, and I'll, okay. I'll figure it out. Cool. Figure it out for cool. the sake of brevity. Okay. Yep. Uh, Sterling, what do you do? Uh, all right. So the directions I have ahead of me are. Uh, you come out. Yes. There's a building to the left, a building to the right, kind of kitty cornered. There's road behind. There's it, basically the road goes around the inn, and then there's like an outhouse to the right around the building. That's okay, and and Esmeralda told me that he went right. Right. Okay. So like I'll it looks like he cur he starts to curl around the building and then stops, and then and then the path the the, the he makes a right out of the out of the doorway, and yeah. then it stops here. So he could have gone to the building on the right, could have gone around the building. He could have you don't know where. I'm going to proceed around the building. Okay. With as far as I can go. Okay, so you go another th oh. 30 feet around the building. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, and I don't see anything from there. Right? No, okay. you don't. Uh, well, no, wait. Can you give me a perception check? Because you haven't given me a perception check yet. Hmm. Fourteen? No, nothing. All right. Okay, uh, Falfer, you're up. Muskoka, you're on deck. Okay. I'm going to... I'm gonna look at the pie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And and uh, I'll I'll lift it up in my hand in the in the cover of darkness. Yeah. I just won't put this over. And I can see because I have dark vision. Yeah. Um, so I'll just look at the pie and go. Um, you're you're worth it, right? <laughs> like. You probably. I should just have one last bite. Then I will destroy the rest of it. Then I can go back to my friends. I'll give you a, a what more wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw? Okay. Uh, that is... 
Ooh, 24, natural 20. Ooh, You're good. 20. You're like, no, this pie is not worth it. Okay. And you, you think literally at, at the last, like, 10 minutes of what happened. Yeah. And you seriously start to <laughs> question what brought you to <laughs> where you are right now. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll have the pie, and uh, I'll just hold it up over my head and stand up. <laughs> and uh, and walk out to to Sterling. Okay. Because I could, I'm assuming he did he walk. So did he so go yeah. By? So as you kind of step out from the shadows, he's standing right there, okay. to your left. So I'll say I'll say Sterling, Sterling, do not hit me, please. I will destroy the pie. It was stupid. I ran away. I'm so sorry. I will destroy the pie. You can see I have not taken a bite. I have not cut it. I will destroy the pie. Just please do not hit me or kill me or run towards me or use a crazy spells or anything that you do, please just let me destroy the pie. I just need some time to destroy the pie. And I can respond to that? Yeah. Then do it! Okay, just relax! <laughs> I, uh... I... You hear all this from around the corner, Esmeralda. It's not your turn yet, but... I take the pie yeah. and, uh, and, uh, and I put it on the ground. Yeah. In front of me. Yeah. And I, uh, I close my eyes. Yeah. And I'm just going to take one, my right foot. Yeah. I'm going to smash it on the pie. Okay. Uh, and, <laughs> and I'll smudge it like, ah, yeah. ah, you stupid pie! <laughs> Why do you do this to me, you stupid pie? <laughs> and I start crying. Rome, ah, it's you stupid, stupid pie! Uh, so Rome's going to be in quite a jovial mood. He's going to start... He's going to pick up the necklace yeah, uh, and sort of take a little gander. He's going to hang the necklace around his neck yeah, for safekeeping until we can sort this all out. And then he's going to walk over to Danica. Around, please. <laughs> and sit at the uh, sit at the table. At this point, start. Danica comes out and there's stuff all over the table. <laughs> People are left. There's shouts outside. She's like... What is going on? I was on? carrying like 47 huh. pounds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the little man lost his mind. It was a long time in coming. Uh, around, please, Danica. Very well. Uh, and she comes, turns back around. She says, honey. And she starts to kind of walk <laughs> back into the kitchen. All right. Okay, uh, Rome, that's you. Uh, Dimitri, you're up. Esmeralda, you're on deck. Okay. Would, I, uh... would I get a turn? Oh, you're after, sorry, you're after Falfer. Oh, I'm that's sorry. okay. It's no problem, eh? <laughs> oh, you were scared. Because uh, it should sorry. all happen simultaneously, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So yeah. I would have just run yeah. out at the same... Okay. Not Nothing interesting. I just would be outside with Okay, them. so you're standing them. You're standing with Esmeralda at this point. You hear the, the shout happen kind of as you come out the door. Yeah. Um, what do you do? You have an action still. Oh, well, yeah? Well, it doesn't make sense because I would have, like, tried to track him and all this. So. Well, so, but you hear the, the shouts. You can just move towards Sterling shouting yeah, I would move and as, him crying. Yeah, as close to that as possible. Okay, so you get there. Okay. With the 30 feet of movement. Uh, do you have 30 feet? Yeah, you do because you're a human. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm kind of shocked that he chose to stomp on it. Yeah, as you come around the corner, he's yes! <laughs> stomping on the pie. I feel like he should have buried it or, you know, not just stomped on the bodies of the children. <laughs> Dimitri, you're up. Okay. Esmeralda, you're on deck. At this point, can we can we come out of yes. initiative? Yeah. I think yes. we're okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. I'll I'll uh, I'll pull my sword out and I'll run out and I'll say, Fell forever, and I'll I'll point right at you. Oh yeah, the pie, stupid pie! <laughs> <laughs> right before casting Hunter's Mark, oh. I'll realize. And I'll sort of take pity. I'll put my yeah, sword nice. away. And I'll say, now I see. Were you just coming outside so you wouldn't make a mess indoors? <laughs> <laughs> you read my heart, my friend. Stupid <laughs> pie. Okay, but like, it's all over the bottom of your foot now. Yeah, can you stop stamping on it, Mimi? And we'll just like clean it no, up. No, no, yeah. no. What? It's a good gesture. Well, yeah, it's a good gesture. How? But... But I, like we can't just leave pieces of children all over. It's it's on the bottom of his shoe. And it's on well, his shoes. It it goes towards his resolve. 
I admire it. Y- yeah, Thank no you. question, no question. But like we again, can... I would like to point out <sighs> that there is dead children on the bottom of his shoe. Yeah, it's all over. On the I back. know it's there. Just do not, just she, leave me alone. She makes a very good point. Okay. We should, we should clean this. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna walk yes. over and I'm gonna start trying to take off his boot forcefully. Take off his boot. And picking up like the leftover pie. Don't let him do it. Like just kind of scrape it off, maybe. I will forcefully do it. Just no, I don't let him do it. Okay, leave me alone. What are you doing, Uh, 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 crazy being? It's done, Falco. It's Uh, done. Just just grab it and like just rustle uh, it off until he lands on his butt, and then I'm going to take the pie. Dead, dead kid on your shoe. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to carry it over near a tree. (laughs) Yeah, and I want to start digging a little hole beside a tree. Yeah. And, and I'm going to put the pie and his boot yep. into the hole. And I'm going to take the, the lockets <laughs> of you hair. Just cast breasted digitation or something. <laughs> no, I haven't got that. And I'm going to take the locks of hair you that I took. Know. And I'm going to lie them in the hole with the pie and okay. his dirty boot. And cover it back up and say, I'm so sorry that we couldn't get to you sooner, kids. And I'm going to ask the tree, like, tree, could you take these guys and, like, make them something good when they come back? Like, not a, like a predator, maybe, not like a rabbit. I'll say, uh, Falfo, Falfo, come for this, come. I and, cannot, but I, I have I, no boot. I, I'm just, I cannot, I I'm just burying it, okay. burying it all up yep. and asking nature to kind of absorb them back into Okay. Take a knee with me, Falco. Good. I'm going to his purse to get a coin for the money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the You're paying for the bill. Okay. So I do take a knee with Dimitri. Hmm. You okay. see, good has been done here. I, of course, yes. It was the right thing. Hmm. It was the right thing to do, yes. I, now, I think this might be the last pie that's ever going to see the light of day. Uh, that is both a great thought and uh, terrifying at the same time. We should maybe put the plaque on the tree or something. Yeah. Here lies the last pie. I, and I don't know. I don't small think man we should boot. say where the last pie is. Somebody might dig it up. Can we not just... Okay, I need to go find another boot somewhere. Can <laughs> someone help me find another boot? Receive one of the children. He doesn't extra. give your, your boot back? No, no I buried he buried it, it under I the buried tree. It oh, with everything. Dear. <laughs> because that's what you get. Wow. There's no I way did, we're I did like, not oh, the children. I only That's what happens, them. man. That's what happens. <laughs> and now soft foot comes to pass. That is where we're going to take a break. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the softening of the foot. Oh, no, I need we, my uh, shoes. My boots, my feet are soft. <laughs> Why do you think my name is called soft foot? We will do the draw now. If you want to do the draw there, uh, Julian. Is that your name? Yeah. That'd be great. Offer oh, soft foot. <laughs> Yes, is that, is that like a condition? <laughs> you have a condition? Yeah. It's like trench foot. But... <laughs> it's softer. She's got very, very, very delicate halfling feet. I have a little delicate halfling feet. Ricky Blom. <laughs> Are they even going to have halfling boots here? Like no. Kids boots. Kids boots. Kids boots. Kids boots. Yeah, they're going to be pretty colorful and have Velcro, but that's okay. <laughs> Velcro. <laughs> Shiny lights every time you step, they blink. I'll just say. This is crazy cool. <laughs> I'm sorry it happened this way. Uh, Julian, do we have a winner for Hero Forge? Uh, are we getting a bio break and stuff? Yeah, go ahead. We're done. Yeah, we're it's break time. We're done. Break time. Going bio, my friend. Ricky Blom. Ricky Blom. Yeah, Ricky. You are Rick Blom. Rick, Rick. Blom. Yeah, Rick. Rick Blom. Whatever. Rick Blom. Uh, you have won a fifty-dollar gift card from Hero Forge. Ooh. We will send you out a, a number that you will use to um, to use that. Would be awesome. <laughs> um, I don't know what just happened. My brain's broken a little bit. Go I need to go. Heroforge.com to use the voucher. I need to go. You know, yeah, but when, when you get it, you go to Heroforge.com to use the voucher. Incredible mini creation tools online. Um, we have created, have created all of our player characters, and I am painting them as we speak. They're great. Um, go Lord. stream. Go stream. Go stream. I'm going to go into the Discord and see if there's any questions. Yes, All you right. Can take my spot. Okay. Um, I will wait till you pass. Yes, yes. And then I will pass along, move my over. Friend. Okay. <laughs> like, I can hear everyone <laughs> going like, what just happened? What? Why? Uh, 
Because addictions are real, folks, and they're not easy to get over, okay? That's why. It's serious stuff. Uh, serious stuff. Serious. Don't um, do drugs. Stay in school. Stay in school. And don't. wear a mask. <laughs> and wear a mask. <laughs> um, let me see if I can get onto Discord here. Um, that was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Did you think it was gonna, no. that was going to happen? No, I didn't. Wow. Okay, so... Um, Wow. So, uh, Sazori of the Red Sand. This is for the player's table, which is weird. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go. I'm going to assume the questions are inside of questions for players on Discord, by the way, Shad, if you're the one doing it or anyone else. Okay. So, uh, Sazori of the Red Sand asks question What was the name of the spell that Joel used to the running spell? Like, it's called Zephyr Strike. And it basically is a just like a high speed. Uh, it adds 30 feet of motion, but it also you use it on your first attack to um, to do an extra 1d8 of damage. So it's pretty cool. You can move into a specific position. Uh, it it prevents opportunity attacks for anyone who's nearby, which is really cool. Which obviously was beneficial, and because uh, because I think because I think. Uh, Sterling was about to damage me in a real way. Um, <laughs> I, I was like, hand on shoulders. Yeah, exactly. I could squeeze his head right now. <laughs> um, thank you for not doing that. Uh, question. Do David and Jason speak Portuguese? And if so, do they talk in Portuguese to make the others crazy? Good question. Um, good question. I think Jason grew up in a Portuguese family, and they spoke Portuguese at home. Mm -hmm. He speaks some Portuguese. I'm pretty sure he... I think he's fluent. Fluent? I think so. Well, we'll have to ask him. I, I've, I've heard him speak it, and it's like... David, I don't know. He, um, I think he knows Brazilian Portuguese. Yes. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah, um, but I don't know if it's still... If it's fluent. No Brazilian dude. Most yeah. Most Brazilians know Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I just assume that that's true. Yeah, I just don't yeah. know the rules. Okay, we'll say yeah. We'll say yeah. Herviticus asks, are those marshmallows on the rooftops? No, they aren't. Mm. Um, they are, although when it They're, does, it's a little they bit do of... look appetizing. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of like ice and snow yes. mm -hmm. um, that is yeah. on the roof. Also kind of works like a mustache and fangs, as you can see, though. We may um, progress to this location at some point during this session. Maybe. <laughs> no, maybe we will. It might happen. Um, Kent Matari asks, what became of Sterling's protests Ari agreeing to find Irina for Strahd. Oh, this was from, sorry, this was from the player's table uh, last week. But, uh, but yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah. We, um, you protested, mm -hmm. and we just, did we ignore? Pretty, pretty much just like, uh, you don't know what to do. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sterling still wants to protect Irina. And he's not going to argue as long as we're not going to find her. So right. uh, if, if we do end up going to find her, mm -hmm. he's going to try and do it in a way that's going to protect her. So like what he suggested before was we find the bones of St. Andal right. and bring them to her, yeah. you know, um, so that she can have them on her person and be protected. Yes. Right. Uh, totally. So I don't know if that's even possible, but that's something that Sterling thinks is a potentially good idea. Worth testing. Yeah, if we can track them down, they've yep. probably been destroyed by vampires or werewolves or creepy ghost kids or, or something. Or a combination of the two. Vampire wolves. Vampire Children. wolves. Lycanthropes of some kind. Yes. Um, White Wolf Sheik asks to fall for. Huh. Is it comforting knowing that your friends want you to stop with the pies, or do you see them as an enemy keeping it away from you? Good question. Good. Super good question. So, um... Yeah, I mean, the conflict with, I think, with any... This is a psychological issue, I think, is this internal conflict of knowing that addictions are a form of escape. Uh, I mean, that's a very generalized way of talking about addictions, by the way. Yeah. But let's just call, for the sake of the story, this addiction a way for Falfer to escape from whatever situation he's in. Um, and if that's the case, then 
people are attempting to take away his opportunity to escape from a danger from a danger laden world. Um, so the internal conflict is: Do I let these people steal my only line of defense away from me, or do I fight against what I know is wrong, which is obviously killing children to make pies? I think the intent there is that that that's not a good thing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume that that's the case. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so it's that battle between understanding. Uh, how to escape from the troubles of the world around you. One, I think, is the escape of a hero, which always fights through the darkest battles. And then there's the escape of the of the anti-hero, which is to just accept all of the negativity and evil and kind of succumb to it. Which is effectively what Roan is telling Sterling to do and doing himself. <laughs> Is my, um, is my mic working now? Your mic is working. Was it not working? Well, just now when I went to... Yeah, there was some static. Okay. It's good now. Okay. It's cool. good now? Yeah. Mm. Perfect. Cool. Um, bury it down, boy. Mm. So, uh, Puppet606 question. May, uh, maybe I missed it, but when are the dice spinners going out? The 30th and 31st of July, they are leaving the warehouse. So, yay! That's in a few days, Finally! Finally, uh, we are we are six what? weeks late. By the way, so if you were you've been waiting, we said that they would ship in the last two weeks of June. So we're not quite six weeks late, but we're kind of that span of time, six weeks, four six weeks, something like that. So we apologize for the tardiness. There were issues with the boxes to send them in. <laughs> they wanted to send them in poly bags, and that would just probably damage them on on shipping. So we didn't want them to be damaged. We asked all the backers, what should we do? Should we keep the poly bags and send them or have boxes delivered and then send them to the boxes. Everyone chose the boxes, so we had to delay. But uh, they're coming out July 30th and 31st. They will be shipping from the warehouse. Yay! Um, okay. Uh, Adabel Rosette. Hope, hopefully I said that right. How shocked were you all to discover the pies were made with children? Well, I think the ingredients are pretty broad. They're probably there's probably some dough there. I pictured uh, peas and carrots, rosemary, some peas and carrots, some spices of some kind, Sage. and then also um, children. Yeah. You know, some paprika, some exactly some oh, paprika. You, know. you said pieces of sages. Pieces, <laughs> no, just uh, sage of spice. Oh, sage. sage oh, the okay. spice. All right. Yeah. Essentially not. And somebody Although named maybe rosemary. it can go either way. Who knows? <laughs> potentially some rosemary. <laughs> potentially someone called rosemary. <laughs> Good point, Brandon. I, yeah. Um, right. So I think we were all. Someone named Rose. Someone named um, Mary. Sorry. Oh yeah, we haven't done that tonight. Yeah, we, I, I was, I I was going to say that just now. Can we just? Can yeah. we do it? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have a, <laughs> a special guest come and talk to us about children, not the ones you eat, the ones you help. Yes. You're not supposed to eat any of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're not not supposed to. Not uh, supposed to. Hey. Um. So yes, Brandon will be. I mean, Gregory will be here momentarily. Yeah. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Um. This line is very tight. Mm -hmm. My mic is kind of escaped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's dragons on the floor. There's dragons. 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 Where's the players? They're here. Oh, here it is. And where's the hat? hat? Where's the hat? Uh, Le chapeau. Will this be bald Gregory? Okay. Uh, this is Bulgari. 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 Hello, I'm a Gregory, and today I'm going to talk to you once again about extra life because we like the kids. <laughs> we love to help the kids because if we do not help the kids, then the future is lost. Oh. Think about oh, it. Oh, of course. Eh? Yes. Gregory, are you saying we should not eat children? Exactly! Okay! In fact, I'm saying if you do eat children, you should stop. Oh, should we eat the Gregory who? You should eat, um, bad people. Oh, what? It sounds like a message towards cannibalism. Exactly! Okay. But not also, because in some places that is quite illegal. Right. However, in Barovia, it is a common pastime and a delicacy to eat evil people. And there's a lot around. So, you have your pick. <laughs> so, <Wolf> sparks. 
<laughs> What's about this extra life thing? Extra life? <laughs> it's an organization <laughs> that helps Children's Miracle Network hospitals and like the one in Toronto, the Children's Hospital, the Sick Toronto Sick Kids. Kids Hospital. And all every single gold or dollar that you donate to Extra Life through twitch.tv forward slash realmsmith uh, will go towards helping the kids in these places. So please do consider helping the kids. Now, as you can see down at the bottom, uh, we have already raised uh, so much money uh, this way that it has helped the party as well. And uh, the Necklace of Fireballs they now have. And the next thing at the 2500 gold piece mark will be the Scroll of Resurrection, which we now have a member of the party that could possibly even cast it should anyone wish to survive after such a day. <laughs> Let's face it, it's Barovia. Why would you want to come back? <laughs> I left. I have been Tahiti this whole time. So, <laughs> I tell you, my friends, the most important thing you can do with your life is to help the kids. Because also, you help at the party. But most importantly, you help the kids. Save the kids, that's okay? Some, that's some good chaz. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. For now. For the kids. Yes, for the kids. For the kids. Yes, for the kids. Sorry, I agree Jason with has you. returned. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you. What's up? <laughs> there are dragons on the floor. I know, they oh, hurt. No. It's like oh, stepping yeah. on Lego. <laughs> Careful. Um, can we get an update on the uh, extra life bar there? Whoa! Wow! We are wow. quickly approaching, folks. We have busted through the necklace of fireballs. It's so close. Oh, hey, Dave. Oh, so close. We're this close. <laughs> we're, so we're, we're, we're about that much. These close. We're, 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 we're These close. Away. Uh, anyways, uh, but yeah, uh, donate to Extra Life. It is on our page. Is it back on our YouTube it page? Is. Okay. So you can go to the widget below the video on the Realmsmith Twitch channel um and uh do that if you liked what you've seen so far also consider following us on twitch so we can let you know when we go live and consider subscribing and then you get access to all our fun discord rp uh, opportunities yay which are so fun oh my goodness well there goes a couple hours Yep. Oh, for right. the sake of brevity, mm. <laughs> That's what you pack up all this Falfer stuff. Um, you do notice that the necklace is missing when you come back in, uh -huh. but everything else is there. Okay. Um, and you look over, and he's gladly wearing it around his neck. And, and Callie, ha drinking. Callie has her dagger back. Callie has her dagger back. Okay. And she's giving you drunk side eye. Okay. Um, Cider or side eye? Side eye. <laughs> I'm kidding. I like side eye. Um, <laughs> Both. <laughs> and um, you, what do you guys want to do next? You get all your stuff together. You pay for your meals. You don't pay for your meals because they've given you free. They've given you free meals because of the wonderful thing that you did for them. Mm. What do you do, Keller? Yeah. Uh, how much? How much faith do you put in the voice from your dreams? Uh, which one? <laughs> it's, well, it's the one that you told us about. Well, there isn't really a voice. It's like pictures. It's, mm, mm. right. Well, it's but, a, yeah, it's, he's never been wrong before, so why should he be now? Hmm. Anybody ever told you you're kind of cute? Uh, no. All right. I'll <clears throat> see it. <laughs> He's got the nice you are voice. A handsome man. <clears throat> All right, so we going or not? You still know Strad. <laughs> He'd make a good lover. <laughs> For like a lady. Wow. And we Danica, will talk about cut, that. Let's cut this off, Danica. <laughs> All right, so you guys pack your things. Where do you guys want to go next? What is the plan? Uh, Shall we said... head on the on the road west? Yeah. Let us do it. I mean, I'll do whatever you guys want. And what are we doing with the kids? We're bringing this, them with us. Oh, this again? Mm, yeah, All we right. could either leave them here with Danica for the time being, or maybe we take them with us and leave them at the Abbey. We'd, have, we'd hate to have a resurgence of pie manufacturing. Can't leave any kids behind. Well, they are safe in town, I will say that. I don't know if we'll encounter on the way there. And zombies. I want to see Irina. That's who I want to be with. Yeah, you, can, you guys you can come with us. Listen, we all want to find Arena, so may I don't know. 
friends. They come with us. Do you know where she is? We oh. don't. We don't. I mean, we're looking for her. So everyone, just so we're all on the same page, everyone objectively thinks it's a good idea to bring these kids with us now. Oh, yeah. Well, it's an Abbey. Yes, the Abbey will be able to watch them long term. If we leave them here, we'll have to still find another place for them to live. Right. That's true. And an orphanage is a no place for children. I'll tell you that much right uh, here. That's, they seem like the perfect place for children. Nah, not the ones in Barovia. <laughs> oh, well, an abbey will be better than an orphanage. I think, I think we should take them. Am I still under this hag thing? Yep. Damn yeah. it. You okay. have it. You have well, it we only on. just had breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> I did not. <laughs> It's been a long morning. I tried to. All right, that so you guys are heading west towards Kresk. Yes. Is that right? Ooh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Chris? Can we find a wagon or anything? Uh, why don't we pick up my wagon and maybe we put the kids safely inside there? Oh, you have a wagon? Your wagon I is quite a, a ways wagon. away, Esmeralda. Oh, never mind then. Forget I ever said that. That is a bad idea. Oh, okay. You have been traveling on foot since. I have been traveling on foot. Hmm. Maybe we'll uh, find that wagon. You came from Europe. Someday. You uh, know, it, 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 we had planned ahead, but I guess it's not the best idea right now. It's all right. A lot of this is being done on the fly. <laughs> Seems to be. Would it be a bad idea to allow the children to sit on my shoulders as mm, we walk? That's a great idea. What do you say, freak, Myrtle? Yeah, you've got a longer stride than those little legs, so I think maybe if they're okay with it. It could speed us up a little bit, yes. Here, let me. I'll pick Myrtle up. Yeah. And she I'll, smiles. I'll put her on one of Sarun's shoulders. The furthest away from him, the better. I'll grab Freak at the same time. Well, maybe maybe we could like, name you something else other than Freak. Like, I, don't know I like Freak. Okay. <laughs> now get your Freak on. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys have all your things and you um, depart Valake and head into the wilds of Barovia and by that I mean this Valak road that is nicely carved through the trees um, it is a particularly uh, foggy morning um, you know uh, from what you kind of have gathered uh, getting your things together speaking to a couple people that it is going to take about an hour and a half, um, you imagine, to uh, get to, um, sorry, yeah, four miles an hour. So, uh, oh, wait a second. Yeah. Uh, just, oh, hmm, one minute, please. Stand by. You travel 13 days with two children. <laughs> uh, you brought no food. Two hours. So just shy of two hours it'll take you guys They to constantly to have to rest. stop to pee. Yeah. Um, and you start on your road west. Uh, I think we'd like to be vigilant as we go. I'd like to be vigilant. Vigilant in what way? I don't want to be murdered from the woods. Okay. So uh, can I get a um, marching order for you guys, please? Because you can just kind of put your, your, your minis in a line there just so I can know on the, on the black uh, area there. I'll, so, I'll uh, since I front. sort of know <laughs> and the one that knows the way, I'll oh, kind I'll of be in front. Okay. I will uh, place myself oh, to uh, Dimitri's way? leg. This way? Uh, I'll put myself right up close to Esmeralda. I'd like to be yeah. up near the front uh, with Esmeralda. Well. I mean, I don't um, know where since I'm I've got the kids, I want to try and hang around the middle. So it's kind of like a... Looks like oh, we're yeah, all kids. fighting for the front. Her- herd protection. <laughs> Here are the kids. I'll protect the kids like elephants do. Just stick around the middle. Who's in the back there? Who is that? That's Gally. Hey, listen, yeah. I will turn around. Put yourself in the right place. <laughs> Don't make me turn the right place. <laughs> so we are basically like walking six wide. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's in the lead. That's how you guys are walking? Um, it looks uh, like a big, so uh, you aim the fireball here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> thank you for uh, note. I'll note that. Yep, Appreciate we're just that. a big fat cluster. You're welcome, uh, by the way. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. You can't yeah. call us that. Call All right, thing I okay. want. Okay, you guys make your way into through the, and the, the Svalik Road, which leads west um, the entire way. 
Um, the road is f hugs quite closely. Sorry, the, the trees choke the road quite closely um, on your way west. Um, as you progress west from Velaki, you cross a bridge um, and you come over and dip down. You remember Madame Eva's um, camp was actually up and the north road. You guys take the south road along the way. Um, and as you're kind of passing an area of the woods, um, fairly uneventful, but you hear, frack, snack, stupid pizza, and you hear kind of like this jovial music in the background, horses neighing somewhere in the woods. Hmm. Um, and then you hear a twing, and like a tip of a sword kind of <laughs> out of the woods and kind of goes across your path, and you kind of all take pause. Uh, and then you hear, and you piece of imp poop. And in the velocity of wanting to move forward, you continue on down your path. Mm. Um, but you hear the jovial nature of what sounds like an Esmeralda, you probably know, is one of the nearby Vistani camps uh, in the woods just to the north of the Yeah, you can't take us anywhere. <laughs> Can, can we just mark on the map where this might be for future reference? Sure. Okay. Yep. Let's well, you don't have a map, but you can kind of but like take a mental note. Yeah. Sure. Let's, yep. let's just keep going. Agreed. They seem to be having Agreed. a lot of trouble. Let's just keep going. They're let's chucking see. swords at people. Uh, well, let's protect the kids. And that's keep going. fine. It's not safe for children. Uh, for the course, for the Stani, it seems. Uh, I've just been uh, reminded to speak to the giveaway. Uh, oh. Second giveaway is Mithril Armory. Yes. Tin 20s. Um, which are awesome. They're current Kickstarter at mithrolarmory.com. Yep. Yeah. And uh, you just write mithrol, M Y T H R O L L, into the chat, and you will be entered uh, to win one of these. And they're, a, they're like a wallet size. They're like a wallet sized card, card, and then you fo uh, fold it up. Like, you emergency D20. Oh my oh my Why I don't have one of these? Yeah, take your hand. Give you one. Well, you, you, give me one. you give me one. The road <laughs> bends south. Um, you come to a crossroads. Uh, the road continues straight on the Svalik road and veers to the left. The Svalik. 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 I know. Oh, I, I, I was thinking oh, Svalik. 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 Gotcha. Svalik. Svalik. Yeah, that makes the Svalik sense. road. You know. Svalik. And then it heads oh, okay. north yeah. again, then west again. There is another um, road that goes south that is marked Solenka Pass. Solenka Pass. Yeah. Solenka Pass. So like a, you know. Yeah. Like a. Like so an octopus, but a Solenka Like Solenka a Solenka Pass. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening right now. I think we just invented a new D&D &D enemy. We did. Oh, it's we a Solenka Pass. I'll get started on a stat block. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Yeah. Um, you guys hear another kind of um, bunch of jovial laughter in your travels as well, coming from another potentially Vistani camp nearby. Mm. Um, you cross another road, and you can tell that things are starting to cool down quite a bit. Um, the river, you can see, as you cross this bridge, uh, opens up into a lake to the right. Um, larger lake, and you haven't been this far west. And even over the trees, you can start to see the wisps of the mist mm. that creates a border around Barovia. Um, Wispy mist. Wispy mist. Wispy mist. All of it. The road branches north and climbs a rocky escarpment, ending at a gatehouse. Hmm. Built into a 20-foot-high wall of stone, reinforced with buttresses every 50 feet or so. The wall encloses what you can see is a small settlement on the side of a snow-dusted mountain spur. Beyond the wall, you see the tops of snow-covered pines and thin white wisps of smoke. The so somber to a toll of a bell comes from a stone abbey that clings to the mountainside high above the settlement. The steady chime is inviting, a welcome change from the deathly silence and oppressive fog to which you have grown accustomed. It's hard to tell at this distance. That's not where we are. I know. Uh, it's hard to tell at this distance, but there seems to be a switchback road clinging to the cliffs that lead up from the walled settlement to the abbey. Um, and what you see before you appears to be Kresk. Oh my god. And it looks like that. Cool. That's really cool. Ooh. Oh, it's nice. Animated. 
Beauty, eh? What do you do at this stage? Kresk is in the distance. You see, again, the mountains switchback road that leads up to what you imagine is the abbey above. So there's two parting pathways then. One of it is Kresk and another way is the abbey? No, so the settlement's here. Kresk is in the distance behind uh, the set. Uh, sorry, the abbey is behind the settlement up on the mountain. You can see it. So you can see it in there. Do you want to bring it up uh, full screen again for a sec? So we have to go through the settlement to get there. So yeah, see, abbey? that's the abbey. Oh, okay. And this is the settlement. The, the settlement. settlement. Yeah. And then the abbey is... No, the abbey's up on the mountain. Oh, my on gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's right up there. Yeah. You good, bud? So that's the abbey road? <laughs> yeah, that's abbey road right there. That's abbey road. <laughs> that <laughs> is abbey road. You good? All right. Uh, what do you do? four of us should just... I'll turn yeah. to Callie. Why Callie. am I barefoot? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Are you barefoot? We got one no, I, I got a boot from a kid. No. Did no, you did not. You robbed a kid? Well, Give me that. <laughs> you guys left me barefoot. Just we left you. the town. Just you left you barefoot. For the sake of brevity, you just. <laughs> <laughs> for the, it was for the sake of brevity that we got here. My assumption with brevity is that we take care of the problems at hand if, and then we move forward. If you want to have picked up a boot, I would allow you to go to the merchant shop. Okay. And the boot was, uh, I'd say. But then I gotta sell him one boot. He's probably gotta buy a pair. Yeah, you gotta buy a pair of boots. Sure. Um, I will tell you how much it costs later. Okay. It's not going to be cheap, but you need boots. A boot, how much? Canadian. And it's a Canadian. Okay, what do you guys do? Uh, I'll turn to Callie and I'll say, Callie, does this look familiar at all? That building on the mountain. That's it. Mm. And over the last couple hours, she's sobered up. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising. How many pee breaks? Have... No, never no mind. Living never mind. Best life. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's where he's been calling me to. I'm sure, he's got some great adventure to me for me to be on. And that's where we'll go. I'm with Dimitri, so I'll say, uh, "Are you sure this is the place?" Well, yes. It, that's the place for my dream. Okay. Mm hmm. Better Not make haste. I don't see where else we. Yeah. How yes. how cold is it? It's cold. Uh, as cold as that picture looks. So you're starting oh. to get chilly. Uh, the, it's starting to kind of get into your bones. Um, you're not really dressed for cold weather at this point. You just have regular clothing on. Oh, I got a lot of fur. Um, yeah. Yeah. Could I feel just kind of comfortable? But you wouldn't have you wouldn't have winters. Like you wouldn't there specifically like okay. winters, but it's not quite it's cold enough for furs. that. This yeah. is like and light, light winter, kind of okay. above and freezing. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, I'm not the most pleasant person to be around when I have cold rage. I really should cold be bundled rage? up a little more. Is yeah, it, it's kind of like rage. road rage, but like when it's cold and you get angry. Oh, hmm. I it's love like the cold. Cold rage. That sounds so. Yeah. Okay. It's Good a watch thing. Out for the cold rage. Maybe we yeah. should. I'm just warning you right now. Like we should probably head Is that out. Is that like being hangry? Sort of. Yeah. Okay. Can we move on, please? There's this area That's in Cali, Aberon, that's called Frostfell. <laughs> that's really cool. Like I really want to go there. Actually. That's how the uh, DM puts, <laughs> puts his will out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Through NPCs. Yes. Huh. Age old trick. Let okay. us go. Yes. Maybe we can find some. Some warmth in this nearby place. These boots are so comfortable. Though. By all means, perhaps you could find someone else that hears voices. The air grows colder as you approach this walled settlement. Two square towers with peaked roofs flank a stone archway into which is set a pair of 12-foot iron-bound wooden doors. Carved into the arch above the door is a name, Kresk. K-R-E-Z-K. Or Z for those There are two Americans. witches above the doors? <laughs> What? No, into which is set. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the walls that extend from the gatehouse are 20 feet high. Atop the parapet, you see four figures wearing fur hats and clutching spears. And they tend, they appear to be watching you nervously. Hmm. What do you do? Oh, hey there. Hey there. What are you doing? Oh, I've seen I do them. Who goes there? Well, it's just us. We, uh, what? Who's us? We are, we are wanderers it's, uh, from Rome out east. And Dimitri and I'm Muskoka. What? You're giving... Just, no, no, just, well, just wait. Just well, friendly, friendly travelers. Yes. They we're just friendly travelers, and uh, we wanted to come in. We're cold. What is your business in Kresk? Hmm. 
we uh, we, well, we, we, we wish to worship at uh, worship at the uh, at, at the Abbey. Mar oh, at the, yes. at the Markovia Abbey. Yes, we would like to speak to someone from there too. From the Abbey. Oh. Well, Just, but mostly yeah, worship, no. I guess, from what Esmeralda is doing. Worship the great Sun Lord! Yay! Oh, oh, that's morning. what we're doing. The mo morning Lord! Yes, the Morning Lord! Oh, yeah, we're on like a, one of those eat, pray, Ooh, love, but this is the pray part. Like, vacations. <laughs> yes, a pilgrimage. We we're are... here on a pilgrimage! Right! Well, you can go ahead and pass around but... to go to the Abbey. Oh, oh. Gee, that's right, because the Abbey's up on the hill. We went over this a little bit. It's a river <laughs> around. Oh. Thank you. Well, <laughs> oh, we don't. Is it, how far of a walk is it from here to the Abbey? How far of a walk is it from here to the Abbey? I will tell you. Do they understand what he's saying? Yes, they do. Do you? <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, one yeah. second. <laughs> you look like your head's going to explode. Uh... <laughs> 100, 200. It's about it's about 400 feet. What? Um, <laughs> the length of a football field away. But okay. but from oh. from from what you can see, actually, getting to the abbey from around the walls actually go to the base of the mountain. The mountain goes up to the abbey. So you'd have to like climb sheer mountain Whoa, faces like, and cliff faces, almost 400 feet, to get way. to this okay, to the so, abbey. So we see this clearly, though. And the switchback road is within the settlement. Okay. Yeah, you see it clearly. Okay. So I'll I'll go to the guy and try to persuade him. To go up. Certainly, the road from within the town is easier than climbing the mountain on the outside of the town. Could we not just pass through? Also, we were maybe hoping to get you know something warm to eat before our. You know, very cold passage up this mountain. Yes, and maybe some clothing. We do not let outsiders usually in the town. Oh, so it's usually, good for your so economy. Sometimes, sometimes you do. Good it's good for your day. economy. Is that even common? Think. What are you saying? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm from Eberron, eh? When, uh, when the DM upholds justice for you, <laughs> you have been avenged. That's okay, I dumped all your stuff out of the table. So it's okay. <laughs> Listen, as, as travelers, we do have a lot of coin to spend, so oh, it, I'm sure it would be radio. very good for your for your settlement if we, you know, uh, visit your fine establishment. A booming economy is good for all, indeed. That's right. So you're what saying you're not going to leave? Oh well, uh, no, we are. We just uh, just a day trip, just but we will spend a lot of money here. Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> How high are the walls? Uh, <laughs> the walls are. Um, I what walls. did I say? Twenty. Uh, nice. Twenty feet. You did say that. Uh, well, I could just create a little ice. No, no, no. We just the guys can open the door for us. Yeah. So a little time passes. Um, you imagine like the equivalent of like 10, 15, 20 I'm minutes. I'm like, you guys are getting cold. You're standing outside. Sterling, do you have a heat machine inside of you or something? Do you get warm or <laughs> do something? Do you guys know how to make a fire? Uh, yeah, like if you're awake for a long time, do you get warm? Do I see any like shrubbery around us or anything? <laughs> like, uh, just like, not a lot, but like basically like dead twigs and, and branches and things like that. So Not a lot like, of green up here, okay. other than other than um, evergreens, which right. are which dot the entirety of the, the light went area. Up. Yeah. <laughs> but it's pretty bare. It's pretty. Evergreen. It's pretty barren up here. Okay. Um, We've been on the loop for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Please approach. Okay. The burgomaster would like to speak to you. Oh, oh I love the burgomaster. The burgomaster. Uh, <laughs> we are pretty hungry. You're looking for the Burger King. <laughs> this is the Burger Master. <laughs> well played. Yeah, well there you go. played. Wow. All right. Good job. You guys approach the wall. Yes. Mm -hmm. And at the top of the wall, there is a, a bit of a portly kind of uh, really dark-skinned gentleman. Um, white kind of hair that uh, balding on top and dressed quite finely, quite noble. Mm. And he kind of approaches and he looks over, he says, What business do you have in Kresk? 
Well, so we want to buy some clothes. I'm just looking around uh, the party to confirm. Buy some clothes and take yep. the road up the mountain. There yes, are no we're shops. On, we're... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, we are on one of those uh, eat, pray, love tours, and we're on the pray part. <laughs> so we are going to go to the abbey. Uh, and also, you know, we 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 would love to uh, help uh your economy by shopping local uh at your local store so we would also do that on the way out okay so for eat there is no restaurants inns or taverns in kresk what do you uh, we do not allow outsiders uh when it comes to pray you can do that at the abbey if you want but you got to climb the mountain and love this is a commune you're not getting any of that here uh, so where do you guys there, eat? We could we could just be on the prey part uh, as long as we can go through. Uh, what is your the, business with the Abbey? Uh, like I said, we are on the the prey part of our of our tour here. You want so. to pray to the Morning Lord? Yes, oh, all yeah, praise. Yeah, no, but we need to be doing so Lord. in proximity to Him. So if we could be in the Abbey, that would be the best place for us. Yes, Perhaps we heard could... very. Great reviews. Uh, we got these little brochures, and we heard that this would be a great place uh, within the abbey if we can go inside. She's totally but, telling the truth. Okay. Perhaps you could provide an escort through your space, uh, just for your own peace of mind. We just need to get to the road to go up to the abbey. You do look very cold. Oh, yeah. yeah very oh, cold. Yes. I'm smart. I will well. punch my friend in the face right now. Out of cold rage. Oh, no, uh, please. Please. Just, please. please. You she don't have to do that. Rage. Okay. And I really wouldn't like to do and it. Like if I can me. get a collective uh, persuasion check, please, okay. from all of you. I like <laughs> this idea. Yes. Natural 20. Ooh. 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 And you didn't even hey talk. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> this is my look. 17. 21. Wow. 15 for me. Yeah, two. I Colder than a Sasquatch is... Uh, Undercarriage out here. <laughs> <laughs> what a yeah. Mine would be 25 as well. Okay. So, you all look like you can handle yourselves. Thank you. If you do me a favor, <laughs> you rolled <a> two. <laughs> that is much needed. Mm -hmm. Favor? Yes. What kind of favor? My wife, she has gone searching for someone to bring her back here. Oh. And she has not come back. Oh, I'm sorry, man, but she's probably gone. Well, now hold on, hold on. <laughs> Can I elbow him? I tend to. Oh, I had a friend who was a college star friend, and his wife ran off too, so. Like, What's wrong with I you? I tend to agree. <laughs> it's like his she's face not coming back. physically, like, drops. I, you, I, I he, disagree. You hear mutter something under his breath. I think maybe she is probably out for a day trip. She's out drinking with her girlfriends. Oh, she will boyfriend. be back this evening. Mm. No problem. I would be back. If you would maybe. Double back and see if you can find her. Do you know who it was she sought? Give me a persuasion check. Uh, wait, I'll let your natural 20 roll for that. Nice. She's looking for somebody named Irina. Oh, great. Mm. Oh, wow. She's supposed Lord to be bringing yes. her back here for safety behind the walls of Kresk. If we, were, if we are doing this for you... You will need to give us all of the information that we could use to help find your wife. Yeah, like maybe what's her name, what's she look like? Her name is Anna. She has beautiful dark, dark chocolate skin. My love. And I miss her very much. And I fear the worst. Aww. But there is much that hang, hangs in the balance if she is not found. And if Irina isn't brought here safely. Okay, but, um, okay, you see these two little children here? Can we leave them in the abbey so that we do not harm them with the cold? Yeah, it's almost like someone foresaw that this was a bad trip to take children on. Anyways, well, can we leave them something. here? <laughs> if you find her, I will let you stay <laughs> in my cottage. Oh, you have a cottage. <laughs> For the evening. Oh, one night. Oh. And then you can head to the Abbey when you want. 
but I will allow you to stay a night okay. and get warm. So were you just like All waiting right. till somebody came up to get them to find your lost wife? You couldn't send like your card? She took you? many of them. Yes. We how are many, a small community. How many oh, guards were with her? A half a dozen. Oh, so we can find your tracks. Okay, no problem. When did they go? Days ago. Oh. Two days, to be exact. I have, a, I have an idea. Okay. The rest of us, we will go inside, warm up. Muskoka, you go, track them down, <laughs> find them, <laughs> and then come back here. Okay, yeah, I can do when that. You, when you found them, and then everything will be solved. No? Oh, yeah. Well thought out, Falfa. Normally your plans aren't, but this is a good one. Well, I don't mind. Yes, like, we'll I'm, stay, I'd be fine. and you go yeah. track them okay, down. Okay, I don't mind. Does anyone know who this is? Yeah, I've been with you the whole, like, for three days. Uh, I'm not sure. I know who that is. No. Uh, you've been with us less than 24 hours. Oh, has it been? Well, it's felt like a couple days. We, um, so how about we leave the kids, we stay for one night in the cottage. Muskoka, you will do this for us? Oh, yeah, Falfi, I don't mind. Okay, good. We will only take the children. Oh, fair enough. Or maybe you could just tell... You're a child. No child deserves to be out there in the colds of Barovia. Oh, I agree, mister. You are no child. Oh, okay. Shut up. <laughs> okay, well, you can wait here outside and we'll be back. Here, I'll take Freak down first. And then I'll... I'll go to reach for the girl and... and and Sterling obviously doesn't let me do it. <laughs> yeah, can't I can't reach you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you'll be safe here and warm. Okay, so oh, okay. do you have any uh, like extra coats or anything? Because it's kind of like you pointed out, kind of nipply out here. You did not come prepared. No. It doesn't give me much hope that you will find Anna. Oh, but here we are. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you better get going so you don't freeze. <laughs> okay. And the kids kind of run up, and you see the doors go <laughs> open a little bit. The kids kind of run in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, I just turn around and start looking for tracks. <laughs> there was like a dozen of them, so Survival there must be check. some sort of indent. I would say with disadvantage. Snowfall, yeah. disadvantage. Snowfall, no problem. two days. Actually, mm. snow makes it easier. Uh, I rolled uh, Light 12 snowfall both times. It's not, it's not. What? I rolled a 12 both times. Okay. Oh, which one do you want to take? I'm going to take the second one. Ooh. Oh, no. Good okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you do sense uh, that you get a, a feeling that a large group has moved through this area in the last couple days. Yeah. And you start to kind of get that trail. Could, could be us. <laughs> Darn it. Don't Larger than ideas. yours. Okay. Uh, looks like they went this way. Oh, no. Okay. Later on. Good luck, my friend. Over the last, uh, so <laughs> are, you are you all not going? <laughs> are you gonna sit outside? The, what are you gonna sit outside the gate? Yeah, set up a fire, maybe do a little tent. Why don't you ride on my shoulder? Kind of <laughs> <laughs> grab okay. your back. All right, I'll go. <laughs> okay, we'll come. All right. Oh, hey, hey, Falfi, try licking him. What did you say? Try, try licking the back of. Him. Sorry, I that's can, disgusting. I don't, I don't understand what you're. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what just, are you asking oh, him to do? Oh, it'd be, it's so funny. We would get like the kids back home. They would Shall we continue on? They would lick the wharf where it is in the cold. <laughs> Listen, nobody's licking anything or anyone. Can we just please go? <laughs> All right, so you... <laughs> For the sake of brevity, <laughs> over the next number of hours, you track this group of um, this expedition who's not being very careful. Um, and you actually, an hour, track it halfway back to Vlaki. Oh. You are an hour into your tracking, and it's, it's heading. It looks like it's following the road up to this point. Oh, man. You're warmer, though. Now you've come out of the area. Oh. You're warmer than you were. But it's still misty. So I'll, uh, I'll lift the th damp. Are, th are these are these our footprints? No. Okay. So you I'm on continue. The, yeah, I'm on the back of, of Sterling, kind of, and I so I lift my head and I go, 
Kage, I <laughs> oh, you did it! I can me can do it, but I, guess... I did it anyway. I, I don't need to hold him anymore. He's no, he's no. good. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why did you do that? Oh. Okay. He might be easier to understand. <laughs> 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 all right, so you continue to track. Yeah, you track it all the way back to the the, the gates of Valaki. Oh my gosh! Um, oh my gosh! And that is where the coal, the the trail goes cold hmm. in Valaki. I'd like you to make another survival check if you want to continue to yeah, track this group I through I the I town. To. Eighteen. Okay, uh, with an eighteen, you pick up that trail again, um, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you are able to actually, through talking to people and through kind of figuring out where, you know that this large group actually went to uh, the church, St. Andrew's Church in Vallaki. Oh, man. And you guys are about two and a half hours now into your way back. Oh, you're so, the one, so sorry. you're kind of at noon, one o'clock in the afternoon at this point. So it looks like, uh, <laughs> or sounds like, I guess, that they went back to the church. But we went. We had to go all the way there to find out. At least the kids are safe. Yeah. I um, recall suggesting that we go there. But never mind. You, if you <laughs> just gotta be more approachable in the way you suggest things, you know. Then people won't shut you down. So Muskoka. <laughs> like you Lots got good ideas. ideas. Let us go to the church. Okay. Um, you head to the church and yeah, you kill. start to approach it. You haven't been here since <laughs> the encounter that you had with Strahd. Um, and you, as you approach, you see that there is an, uh, a young boy. He's got his arm in a sling um, and bandaged kind of around his head. And he is currently, he's putting boards up on the front door of the church and he's kind of nailing boards across. I'll walk up to him and go, the doorway. What are you doing? Oh, oh, he hello. Hello, is there, uh, is there no service today? Um, I, did you not hear? Um, church has been desecrated. It, it is no longer in service. Uh, the father uh, died, uh, and he starts to look around, and he starts to wreck. He says, wait a second, you you were the ones that did it. Were you not here? I, I'm very confused. My friend has dementia. Uh, have you seen a large group of armed individuals, a woman and uh, a group of about six guards approach the church recently? Insight check. Is this the boy that sold the bones uh, of St. That's uh, 18. Um, you can see that his, his, his eyes kind of, he's like, no, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, but you can tell he does. Boy, I think that honesty in this case is the best, is the best uh, recourse for you. And I'm going to let my eyes sort of turn dark. Ooh, intimidation and, uh, check, please. Yeah. Don't make him pee his pants. He's just a kid. That would be an 18. <laughs> okay. He backs right up against the door. He says, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine. You helped, and I'm alive. In part because of your... of what you did and what I heard you did here. I... They're here. They're, they're in the... They're in the church. They've been held up. They took losses on their way here. From what? From whom? From Barovia? I don't know. Uh, some of them had bite marks. Uh, Open the door, so are you, lad. Are you locking them in? Why Why the boarding? Because yeah, why are you boarding them? Nobody the wants to up? come to the church because it's been desecrated. Okay, so is there another entrance you can let us in to find them? Okay. Is there a reason that also, you're locking them in there? Desecrated how exactly? The bones of St. Andrews went missing. Yeah, we were there. Why are you locking people inside the church? Well, we're, I was not locking them in. I'm just closing the church up because we, we can't have services anymore until the bones come back. So we can enter freely with that. Sure, obstacle. you can. Okay. Is this yeah, but the boy that sold the bones? He said that the bones this is, were missing. This is the boy that was left for dead. That you mm -hmm. kind of stepped over, entering, mm -hmm. and was under sort of rubble when you guys entered the church mm -hmm. when oh. you met Strahd. The altar boy. So can we just walk into the church? So you just kind of walk past him, and yeah. and he kind of moves out of the way. Yeah, like he doesn't want any more problems. Thank you for your time, um, and we'll just walk in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, so. but I want to know: the bones are missing, and that's how this place is desecrated. Yes. The, 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 
bones of Saint Andrew were stolen. Were, were stolen, and they kept the evil out. You were there. Oh yes, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> well, he, the, they weren't stolen. They were the reason Strahd got in. You heard was because they were stolen. Right. You weren't there when they were stolen. Mm-hmm. Right. But we were through there. Yeah. We knew because yeah. of all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Are we still trying? Yeah, I want to enter. Okay. So Are you guys. Still Are we still trying? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 7 p.m. Guys, today. don't you think that like maybe something about getting these bones back would be important if we're to be here in this if we can't worship here because the bones are gone and then like she had that vision I wouldn't worship sun. here anyways and I nobody think that asked we have you on moody. Our plate already moody <laughs> what did he say? I, nobody, nobody asked, asked you, you moody, moody. <laughs> Um, okay. so, we all know you just want to skulk in your dark corner and listen to your emo music, but like, <laughs> let's actually think of a plan here. Like, if we were supposed what to keep all this vision, music? I don't know. It's emu-mus. just something I heard in cat e- emus, like the animals. Oh. You I play have no it and they get for really. Music. Do we know? Um... It's really sad music that they somehow like for some reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Milavosh is really into it, and he he parts his hair right here, and it's black, and it's right against the side of his face. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk in. And he oh, <laughs> at this point. <laughs> um, Esmeralda, uh, I think you may have a point there in finding these these bones. Uh, Irina was seeking for asylum in a place where these bones were stored. If we could bring them to her, she might be right. safe having them on her person. Uh, this... Okay, so that's so, what I'm sorry. saying. So you guys, it, good. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Sure. Like it, it's not a sacred place if the sacred bones aren't here and the people can't worship like they normally do. That means whatever sacredness of this place is not here anymore. Makes you, sense. You think you could find them? As he says that, uh, Muskoka and Roan, you guys kind of push yeah. through and open the door. Yeah. It opens. It's kind of on to a hinge, um, and can you kind of have like force it open a little bit? Mm-hmm. And inside, it's quite quiet. Uh, I'd like you to make perception checks, please. Uh, is it dark? Yeah. Uh, what do I see up to 120 feet? Yeah. Well, I got natural one, so like 18. I just see the back of his stupid head. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So you, so Rome, <laughs> you see um, that um, there's glass still all on the ground. All of the stained glass, remember, busted in when when yes. Strahd was there. Um, and right through to the back, you see uh, huddled shapes, kind of in the very back in the little alcove where the rope, where you ring the bell is at, behind the altar in the back of the, um, and you distinctly hear the sound of uh, a bow being drawn. Madam, Madam Anna. Give me a persuasion check. Uh, this is so weird, 18. Okay. Um, yes. That is I, and you hear the uh, of the huh. bowstring go back. We come at the request of your husband, the Burgermeister of Kresk. He wishes us to bring you back to him safely. He is looking for us. He is. He is we come out of the shadows. Or better yet, I step into them and I start walking towards them. Okay. As you kind of come in, you hear kind of some uh, jumbling sounds and some scattering. Um, and she kind of steps up, and she steps forward, and there are two people that kind of, two of her aides kind of step out in front um, and, and, and put their hands on their swords. And you can see these guys are really bandaged up, bloodied, um, and there's two of them left uh, that kind of step in front of her. Uh, and she says, and she says, you are here to take us back? No. We are. Why? So we can get into the Abbey. What's it for you? We seek some information from the Abbey. Now will you come with us and allow us to escort you back to the Burgermeister? What? What information would you want from that place? That, I'm afraid you'll have to ask my companions. Uh, There are more of you. There are. Capable. Oh, I'm right here. I yeah, I'm helping out with them. Some more capable than others. That's me. You are about as quiet as a moose. Oh well, yeah, yeah. That's like that's okay. I wasn't sneaking. Let me see the rest of you. Well, well, they're all outside, but uh, you guys are a little hurt here. 
I can help you guys out. Can you? Oh, yeah. And I'm going to, uh, well, I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to I, I do a, a, a cast prayer of healing. Okay, so you start walking towards them. Give me a persuasion check. Okay, I can persuade you check, but I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> it's a it's a four, but I'm. Do I need to touch them? Oh, oh you your fat fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, within range of thirty feet, I don't even touch them. Ten minutes. Uh, I don't. Right, time I guess what I'm saying minutes? is. Okay, well I just start praying. Uh, okay. You gotta wait like a like a few minutes though. Yeah, but as you, start, as you start, as you say. Yeah. Let me do this. Yeah. Um, they're kind of gauging the sort of situation. Yeah. Um, and uh, one of them says, my lady, no. And she says, no, please. And she puts her hand on you. She says, if you can help us. Okay, but it's going to take like a few minutes. <laughs> so the I'll Burgermeister. Start, I'll start the prayer. It takes 10 minutes. The Burgermeister mentioned that you were seeking Irina. We have some familiarity with Irina. Did you find her? With that. From right beside you, the door opens up slightly, and out steps Ismark, Irina's brother. You are here. We are. You were supposed to meet us days ago. So I'll, I'll you go You said in. you were going to check in. We got a little sidetracked by some children and some <clears throat> pies. It's not important. Out steps Irina. Irina, so good to see you're safe. What took you so long? You said you'd be back. Many of, many of the, the ladies' men died, coming to get me, to send me to Kresk. That was one of the two places that we were told, that Father Donovich told us to go. And this place is not safe, so we were heading there. So what, excuse me, forgive me, what brought you back here again? I, I was, I'd never left. I was here, safe at the church, and the lady was chased to the city wall, to the village walls, the town walls, by werewolves. So here's what happens. We <laughs> are idiots. <laughs> you we, are an idiot. Uh, okay. Let's go back I'll, out to um, to Sterling, Esmeralda, and the boy. So you can find them. You think you can find the bones? I that would do a lot to avenge <laughs> Father Lucian and bring the church back to its former glory and bring hope back to Vallaki. There's much unrest because of those bones. I think Do you it's know, a did worthwhile. somebody run off with them? Say that again? Do you know, did somebody run off with them? Um, he starts to kind of, like he has a bit more information than he's giving. Do oh. you know who is to blame for this? Give me a uh, persuasion check. I don't know. Fine, I told Milvoj about it, and, <laughs> and I told him about the bones because Father Lucian trusted me, and uh, they're usually kept in a crypt. Uh, it's a 10 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot crypt right under where the altar is, and I told him about it, and then they went missing, and I think it was him. Father who? Mil Lucian. Who's dead? Milshin. Lucian, Lucian, Milovos, Milovos is the is the groundskeeper. He he's a young man who who he, he digs the graves and he takes care of the grounds and and oh, yeah, he, uh, and he took them from this crypt that was underneath the altar. I don't know, but he was the, per the only person I told. I swear. Son, son, son. Yes. Where is Milovos now? That hurts. Ah, mm. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, he's, don't, he's, oh, he, ew, don't be creepy oh, about oh, him. He, he, lives, <laughs> he lives in town, uh, and that really hurt. Uh, and he, um, oh dear, um, that was separated two days ago. Um, <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah. He lives in town with his sisters. Um, they're not, they don't do very well. They don't have a lot of money. Um, but you can maybe find him there. He's been coming daily in the afternoon to help at the church. What time um, is it now? It's about 12, 30. Okay. I'm going to use one of my lay on hands points, just one to try yeah. to yeah. make him feel better. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Ooh, that tickles. That's a good lad. Oh, boy, well, thank you. So he lives that's, with uh, his sisters. Yes, that's right. He, um... And you know which house that is? Uh, I think one of us would make a comment there. The yes, I can, I can. Yeah, I was. Mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I can take yeah. you there. Um, I can take you there. 
Very good, very good. I think I think we'll have to go there next. Can I yell out uh, yell out from the church uh, to the rest of the group? Dimitri Sterling Esmeralda. We found oh. Anna and Irene. Not too loudly. <laughs> hmm. We should go. Yeah. Let me know when my ten minutes I'll enter. of prayer is up. I'm just making sure. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I really want to like when they you said Irina came out. I really wanted to tell her about the straw. Like yeah. That, I can't yeah. So let's go back there. into inside. But I'm, but I'm just still just trying so hard to focus. And <laughs> give me a wisdom saving throw on that one to stop yourself from telling <sighs> her about your wonderful buddy. Oh yeah. Who wants to wed her? Do you want to read the Oh, uh, yeah, so that is a nat tw- one. Nat Natural one. one. You don't care about healing these people. You think that you could solve all of Barovia's problems right now by telling her how perfect Strut is for her. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I jump up. I come out and come out of the prayer like, well, I like is Irina. And, and, then jump and you've lost that slot, too. In the middle of it. Hmm. The prayer slot. That's unfortunate. That's a second I'm assuming that spell. I think that's what happens. Make sure that you I think it drops as soon as you if you've interrupted in your casting time, you've dropped you've lost. No no slot. no more praying for you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll learn me. Uh so I'll run over to her like yeah. oh, Irina. She kinda steps like, back oh, and Ismark kinda steps in front. You're Irina? Oh, hey, hey, who's who's in front? Ismark her brother. Yes. He oh. has in it. blonde hey. hair. Hi, hey, I'm the school guy. Hey. I'm in there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna like Skoka, what are you doing? Well, there's a guy. You gotta meet him. He's Hello, it's so me. Yeah, I'm a uh, Farfar. Far. He's not him. And this guy's handsome. Uh, and he's like Skoka. rich. And he's got a really um, big house. I'll pull out his cape again. And he thinks Same you thing are time. just okay. the piece of cake. Strength check. Uh, strength of last check. Strength athletics check, please. For a grapple. What cake's 19? Oh, natural 20. Oh, oh. oh nice. uh, you are now, <laughs> you are now, I would say with a natural 20, you managed to grab him and silence him. Okay. I How jumped. did you do that? No, I, uh, I'll just, no, what I did was yeah. I grabbed the cape, I threw Again. it around his mouth, and Again. I pulled it back. <laughs> okay. right? oh. So it's like, a, oh, she kind of squints her eyes at, at, at him, and she kind of like, oh, man. and I pull him out of the building. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, take, take care of They mentioned werewolves attach the, attack them. What do I know about werewolves? <laughs> Give me a nature check, please. Oh, man. Are you saying that to me? I'm saying that to you guys. 13. Like, take care of this. Um, you know that they have multiple shifting forms. Some can shift uh, into like a humanoid form, a uh, hybrid form, where it's half wolf, half man. You know that they can shift into wolves, and you know that they pass lycanthropy through through bite. What? What is... Why are you handing... Muskoka to me. No, 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 not no. I'm taking Muskoka out, and I tell you guys take care of the situation in here. Oh, I think you might be in here. So I immediately go in. Yeah, I go in too. So where did you guys go? I'm pulling Muskoka out of the out of the church. Out of the church. Okay. While they take care of the situation. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask her. I noticed that you have some wounds. Were you bitten? Mostly clawed. No bites. No bites whatsoever? No. Bite? Bite from what? Uh, if I look at them, do I notice any clear... Like, investigation check. Uh, not one. They look fine. They look fine. Yeah. Well, as long as you're all right, wouldn't want you turning into a, into a werewolf right beside me. <laughs> Ridiculous. They don't laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you were, That's a one. You were come up on by werewolves? Yes, we were chased by a pack of them. But you weren't bit. No, they say they were not. I am fine. We lost many in our group. Well, how many? How many exactly? How many do we lose? Hmm. We lost ten. Only two left. And how many werewolves set upon you? We don't know. It happened so fast. Perhaps we should begin to head to Krusk now. I say we assume that we can go the better, especially mm. under the light mm. of day. But um, first I should tell you, our boy over here knows exactly who may have taken the bones of St. Andrew. How would he know that? He uh, has loose lips, 
very loose lips, and he told the groundskeeper about the bones. So he betrayed the trust of the Abbey and Father Lucian. Well, he's also a little kid, so... Hmm. So, you know, how old would he be, do you think? Uh, the altar boy? Yeah. 10, 12. Oh. As well has gone in? I was saying like a... 18 or something. Oh, yeah. Am I, am I inside at this point? or? Yeah, you're all, you can as, all be inside. As yeah. he drags me past, like they're walking in, yeah. and, and I'm, I want to kind of loudly whisper yeah. to Esmeralda, it's Irina, it's Irina, you gotta tell her. You gotta tell her about Strad. Okay. Yeah. Well, his mouth is covered, right? Yeah, yeah. your mouth is yeah. covered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so give me a perception check with disadvantage, Esmeralda. Uh, okay. Perception with disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> I rolled a natural one. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what? That sucks. Um, you heard, uh, Esmeralda, Esmeralda, I'm really in love with you. What? Really, I never understand what that guy's saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perfect. Thank you. I wish I could high five you right now. It's like, boom. Virtual high five. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you guys do? <laughs> yeah, and the boy is going to lead us to where. Groundskeeper's day. Perhaps we should deal with this situation first. Apparently, Irina will only be safe in Kresk. Uh, but perhaps we should also bring up what we were discussing the previous day uh, when we were hosted as guests. I whisper that. Okay. Uh, perhaps we should go. I'm, I'm going to motion to the group to be an exit. Uh, Are we going right now? Hmm. Shall we? Ismark says, are we sure it's safe? We were just it's there. It's not. It's not. If we, it's not, This place is not going to be safe until we find those bones again. Welcome because to this place is desecrated. There is nothing safe. Are you here? Yeah, yeah I'm just... Yeah. Well, if you're in there, then I'm going to dust myself off and come back in. Oh, yeah, you're, you're not. You're, you're outside with him. Yeah, uh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Remember, oh, right, yeah, of course. Dragged him up, yeah. yeah. Dragged him out. Yeah. You're going to get murdered. <laughs> this is Barovia. <laughs> Nothing is safe. Yeah. This is Barovia. <laughs> uh, as you kind of all exit, um, Irina kind of pulls up a hood. Um, Ismark also covers his face, and yeah. the two guards, um, Crescites, as they're called, uh, and, and Lady Anna kind of step out uh, into the thing. They all kind of pull up, and she looks around, she says, you do not look like you are... Dressed for Kresk. <laughs> yeah, we are not. not. Oh, I am. It is a bit nipply out. You went up there dressed like this? Oh, yeah. Yes, we did. Perhaps a quick visit to the merchant is in order. That would be well. Nice. Maybe if somebody's vision had told us it would be snowing. <laughs> we would have dressed for the park. I said it was in the mountains. You put so much emphasis on the sun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded warm. It's such a shame you bought those boots and then you gotta buy more boots. It's sort of weird how we brought those children all the way over here when Irina was here all along. Well, now they're all be together. At least we got some exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, to the merchants. In the freezing cold. <laughs> yes. To the merchants? Um, where, wherever we go. I want to be right next to Irina, as protective of as, as I possibly can. Oh. Okay. Falfo, what are you doing? Let, uh, let Mamoba da, go. I mean, uh, oh, fine. Mimosa. <coughs> I'll take Mimosa's hip hop. <laughs> Mimosa? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at the cost of something here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the worst part. Yeah. So I yeah so I un, I unwrap the the cape from his mouth and let him go. And I'm, I'm like, I don't, why don't you want her to know? Like that's how we're gonna get out of here. Just just wait a while. You'll understand. Ah uh, boy, I'll turn to the altar boy. Yes, yeah, and he's as soon as you left, he's starting to board up the church again. Come with us now. I want you to show me where the groundskeeper lives. Uh, right now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to stay here by yourself. All right, and he walks out with you folks. Um, I'm going to say for clothing. <laughs> they used to have winter's clothing in the player's handbook. I don't. Oh, traveler's clothes. Mm. Clothes. Is that like clothes. winter kit or something like that? I, I, I looked know. for that, but I don't see it. Um, Just fur lined or something. Yeah. So I would say it's about 20 gold a set. Oh, wow. Esmeralda! Oh, wait. Uh, hey, no, sorry, sorry, listen. sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 
uh, 20, 20 silver a set, sorry. Oh, okay. So, so oh, 20 silver, that's two that's that's gold that's a set. That's more bucks. I was looking at costume <laughs> clothing. Not uh, not that yet. Okay. I'm trying to find winter clothing. I thought it was in here, but anyways. If you guys find winter clothing, let me know. You may already be dressed. Okay, so you are heading over. So he t sent, uh, kind of walks through um, Valaki and brings you to a really modest kind of rundown home. Um, kind of a Tudor building, one story, kind of cottage type type building. And he says, uh, this is the place. And he kind of turns around and he runs back up towards the church. Hmm. I'm going to walk right up and put my ear to the door to okay. see if I... Perception notice. check. And I'll, uh, mm. with my... 17. Skills, look around the building to see if there's any stuff. Survival there. check. Cool. Um, with a 17, you hear the casual conversation of two younger... Um, Young people, uh, you imagine probably kids. Um, All right, I will. One, two females. I'll politely knock on the door. Okay. And it stops. Dirty twenty. Okay. With the dirty twenty, you see that there has been uh, just traffic in and out of here. Okay. Um, it, it appears like two younger. Kids yep. and one older person hmm. that has come in and out of the building over the last okay. couple of days. Um, you do also notice um, kind of like a, um, a shovel kind of leaned up against the side of the cottage. Okay. But other than that, it's it's pretty run down. There's like garbage and dirt and whatever. Okay, so I'll turn to Dimitri without saying a word. I'll just go like. Oh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say you did. Um, and <laughs> are, are we just all watching you guys do this? Well, he just knocked. Okay. So from inside, you say, you hear, "Who goes there?" Uh, I don't go there. Hello. Uh, I don't go there. Yes. Uh, we seek an audience with the groundskeeper of the church. What business do you have with him? Well, it's in quite a state of disrepair, and we were very much interested in helping him restore it. That's not my responsibility. I'd like to walk around... Does he not live back. here? What's it to you? Pretty sure that's exactly his responsibility. Um, you start to walk around the back. Are you stealthing? Um, are there windows? Um, there are, but they're shuttered. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to... I don't, I don't even hide too much if there's shuttered windows. Sure, so you I'm start to walk, walk around. around. Yeah, okay. I want to see if there's a door at the back. Make yeah, sure he doesn't yeah. Like there's only out. one door in the front. It's a pretty modest hovel kind of cottage. Okay. And then I'll stay at the side to make sure he doesn't jump out those windows. Okay. And we just would like to have a few words about the possible restoration of the church. Uh, persuasion check. Oh. 21. We just have five minutes of your time. To tell you about <laughs> 21. 21. He, uh, he kind of cracks the door and he kind of looks out and he sees the big group. I'm smiling. The teeth. Same here. I'll smile as well. Hello. Are you the groundskeeper? May yeah. I ask what your name We've is? We've met this guy before, right? Yeah. He looks like, no, you haven't. He looks oh, like that. Okay. Uh, literally, as uh, somebody who what? would probably Rectalia. listen to emo. Uh, and uh, and he kind of he's a brawny um, brother. Yeah, he he's a, he's a brawny, well built, uh, young, um, kind of furrowed brow. Emo kid. Um, yeah, and he kind of has dirt on his face, and he kind of says, "What does it take for you to get for you to go away and leave me alone?" I could think of a few things. Is it does the door open inwards toward him towards him? Yeah. Can I get my foot? In the door, so we can't close it. Uh, yeah, give me a dexterity check there. Good job. Uh, the yeah. door's lined with Athletics blades. check. The door's lined with blades. 23. Yeah. Uh, you get your foot in before he, can, he tries to close it real quick. I say, um... And he says, sisters, run! We only seek to do what's right. And I'm going to try to push the door open. Okay. Uh, I would say with that, you're able to, to strong arm him into it. And he, he kind of falls back onto his... Stop uh, and on his butt. You hear the doors, the windows start to unlatch, um, yeah. and one of them opens up, and uh, uh, maybe 
I don't know, she's probably eight, uh, she starts to out. kind of scramble out the, out the do- window. Can I just, like, help her out and then hold on to her? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, give me a strength, uh, strength athletics check. Against an eight-year-old? Yeah. Uh, oh, I hope this doesn't go poorly. Fifteen. Natural twenty. Oh! She goes pop in your eyes. You take Ooh. one point of damage. Oh, she man. slips out from under you. you you're you cur- temporarily blinded, and you hear... And you hear another body go... Do we see her run out? Yeah, okay. the rest of us as, watch this happen. As I hear the no. running, and I'm holding my eyes like this, yeah. I'm going to run towards the sound, hoping that I can Perception get check. my eyes back. Like, Perception check. Okay. Oh, 23. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you, uh, you you come over to quite quickly, <laughs> and you see that they're kind of weaving in and out of buildings. Okay. okay. Um, so he's you, falling backwards. He's falling backwards on onto his butt. Okay. I'll kneel down to him. And I'll put my hand on his shoulder. I'm yeah. doing a lot of this. <laughs> yeah, you are. I like it. And I'll say, <laughs> where are the bones of St. Andrew? Check the coffin maker shop, okay? Why would they I was be just there? trying to make some money for my family, my sisters, and he bought them from me. He knows where they are, not me. Now please go. Leave us alone. Where is it? How old is this guy? Uh, maybe we take him with us. He's like 18, 17, 18. Age of accountability. Yeah. So we would Inside? like you to show us where the coffin maker is. Uh, and yeah. he gives you directions. He says, it's up the road and to the left, left, right, left. Take you, us you. there. <sighs> no, you're coming with us, buddy. <sighs> fine, fine, I'll take you. Let's go. Okay. Yep. Cool. You guys, um, he, he says, he, he says, where are my sisters? I want oh, you to know they're safe you, before you I go You let anywhere. them run off. Um, Muskoka, where are they? No, he he kind of looks I'm around. He, he looks, yeah, he looks around the corner and he sees Muskoka kind of run off. Muskoka, oh, you ran off. I'm chasing the two girls. <laughs> take right. off. I took off, eh? Muskoka, Muskoka, it's fine. Leave him. Are, are you yelling at? Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, man. Uh, shoot. Uh... Okay, so I'll uh, I'll just slow my pace down. Like, <laughs> okay, so you guys all kind of get together, um, and he kind of like like begrudgingly, obviously an attitude chip on his shoulder, leads you to uh, the coffin shop. Okay, I stay right next to him. So as we're walking there, so you sold the bones of Saint Andrew. Yeah. So what? Well, I was just interesting because that means. All the blood of the innocent Valakians, 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 is on your hands. How much would you do to feed your sister so they don't starve? I would do anything. Exactly. I used to didn't give him up for pies. Eh? <laughs> you guys approach an uninviting shop. It's two stories tall and has a sign shaped like a coffin above the front door. All of the window shutters are closed up tight and a deathly silence surrounds the establishment. So this is the place? And so the man, is this the place? Yes. This is it. Is it open? If anybody knows where they are, he's the last one to have them. (coughs) We're closed! Go away! We need to enter. What are your operating hours? Not now! Open the door! Go away! We're not here for business. Well, you wouldn't be. Well, here we go again. Because you wouldn't need a coffin if you could speak. Go around. away. Do all the dead people Open the door. I'm going to walk around to the back again. Okay, you start to walk around the back. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, walk, walk up, push uh, Dimitri to the side a bit, and just uh, cast Eldritch, Eldritch Blast on the door, which is force damage. Okay. And just blast it open. You see like a shadowy beam... Uh, you know, shoot forth, you know, orb, just shoot forth and just splash against the doorway. <laughs> yeah. Take that door. That's force damage. Okay, how but much did you get? So that will do eight force damage. Do you have to roll to hit? Or just... Uh, well, it, it depends on you. If it's if it, There's an AC. It an auto hit? There's an AC. It's auto okay. hit. There's uh, an AC. Uh, it's an auto hit? Yeah. Uh... But you have to roll to hit typically? Uh, on a normal attack, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, because there is an AC for it. All so right. Roll to hit, so. and then. Yeah, nine. Okay. Um. Uh, splinter wood, but it doesn't. No. What's the damage? Do the damage. Sorry. Uh, it was eight force damage. Yeah. So it starts to splinter, but it doesn't quite. It's a well built, thick, thick door, <laughs> thick oak door. Well made. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Do it again. Roll it again. Again. Uh, that is a uh, thirteen. Okay. Uh, with the thirteen, that's enough. Um, and more dam. Oh, what's roll that damage? Uh, that is. A, uh, a 10, I believe. That's a zero, right? It's a couple of thing. It's a 10. Okay. <laughs> where the kind of like the, the ring where you open the door bursts out into splintered of wood and the, the door kind of swings open. Um, and. Who do we see, Jason? You guys are doing, Who do we see? You guys are doing all kinds of things I never expected. <laughs> Today. Like not visiting this. <laughs> <laughs> this looks great, by the way. Oh, yeah, I've been yeah, admiring it. Super nice setup. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like how you decorate it's, the tables. Yeah, yeah, I really need all to do this the next week, and that's really what's good. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, I feel like there's a lot of painting. Yeah. That happened. Yeah. You cool. were up late doing this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These rooms, though. Uh. <laughs> oh man. All right. Um, we are running a little late. Yep. We started late, so I figured we go a little late, so we'll go a little bit longer. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, yes. Uh, this uh, you walk in, you step into a, you see what appears to be a workshop. It contains everything a carpenter needs to make coffins, furniture. Three sturdy work tables stretch the length of the west wall. Um, you notice that there is um, a door to your immediate right. And then there's a door further down on the on the right that leads further into the house. There's current silence. We don't see the man in there? No. <laughs> We'd like to do this the polite way. He didn't run I mean, out the back we, door? We meant after we broke the door down, we'd like to do this the polite way. Is there a back door? Yes. You, you, you walk around. There's a number of windows, mm -hmm. uh, and there's a back, a back door. Uh, is it unlocked? Can we try to open it? It's locked. Um, we are very good at hide and seeking. Persuasion check. Okay. I'd, I'm going to use my cantrip, uh, Primal Savagery, okay. to uh, grow my teeth. Okay. And I'd like to try to gnaw through the door around the handle. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Make an attack. Uh, waiting, waiting. Ready, go. Uh, it's a 21 for an attack, and it does uh, uh, four acid damage. Okay, wow. so you start to like <laughs> through, wow. and you're starting to gnaw wow. away around it wow. in, wow. in one turn. Wow. Uh, you're about halfway through, you imagine, at this point. Um, 11 on my persuasion. Uh, sorry? 11 on my persuasion. Yeah, no, no response. No response. And there's stairs. Uh, nope, there's no stairs. There's a doorway to the right and a doorway just ahead to the left. But it looks like right. it's a two-story thing from the outside. It is. Looks like it's a two-story building. Yep, there's two two floors. Can I try to kick one of the doors down? Yeah, which one? The one that's uh, further why in. Why not? We're all doing it. The one that's further <laughs> in, or the one that's closest to the, the door that you just came through. Uh, let's try the close one. Okay. I checked if mine was unlocked. Already. Give me an attack on it. Un unarmed strike. <laughs> so you guys are just. <laughs> Uh, that's an 18. Okay, that is a hit. Damage. <laughs> oh, it's not going to be a lot. Oh, it's three. Yeah, so you hit it, and it, 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 it buckles a little bit, and it starts to splinter wood. Uh, but as you did that, you notice that this is an in, inside door, and it doesn't have a lock on it. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I could also just, you know, open it. <laughs> <laughs> as you open it... Um... That's you notice that uh, a table with four <laughs> chairs is in one corner of this room with a lantern hanging from a chain directly above. Two well-made cabinets stand against the east wall. Can I take a look inside the cabinet? Yes, he starts to like peruse the cabinets. <laughs> Can I go to the other door? Yeah. yeah. And you notice that there's just a bunch of like collected knickknacks 
but not stuff that anything really of value. Just things that look like have, they've been collected over the years. Like you home. go. Okay. You go I to just. The, oh, sorry. I'm just gonna like a cat that's an asshole. Just kind of knock stuff over. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. And then walk out of the room. Okay, so uh, you open the other door. Yeah. Uh, and you notice arranged haphazardly about the floor of this musty L-shaped room are 13 wooden coffins. And they're just kind of all <laughs> sitting in this dark kind of musty, um, musty room. Can I sort of listen very carefully to see if I get any sense that anyone's breathing inside a coffin? Perception check. Or... 16. No, you hear nothing. Okay, so I'm still in the other room. Yeah. I just want to peruse the room to see if there's been any steps, dust moved, is the person hiding? Uh, survival check. Okay. I want to start opening coffins. Okay. I mean, can I examine the ceiling to see if there's any, like, Sorry, I'm going to say you can open two per round. Sorry. Huh? Just checking the ceiling to see if there's any kind of hatch to get up. Investigation check? He, like, swings down. Can I, can I <laughs> continue to chew the, the door in the back? Yeah, give me uh, another attack or another... Attack and then another damage, please. Uh, yeah, 17. 20 to hit. Nothing Dirty. You can see. I'm, I'm Dirty 20 to hit and 10 damage. But there's something I want to <laughs> you, you go through and you come through. <laughs> and Roan just op <laughs> is opening a coffin. Uh, <laughs> and he's opened two of the coffins that are in the room. <laughs> oh. Well, go on, help me. Ah, okay. So <laughs> are there anything in the coffin away. or are they. Uh... Empty coffins. Um, and they're just like wooden boxes, basically. Okay. Wooden, plain wooden. I'm coffins. assuming that if the bones were still here, that this place wouldn't have sustained any damage during the attack, right? If the bones were still here. Yeah, if they were still, if yeah. San Andro's bones were still in the premises, uh -huh. this place wouldn't have sustained any damage during the attack from Strahd, right? Because uh, Vlaki was overrun with undead. And yeah, stuff, right? it wasn't all damaged, but a lot of it was like in the town center and at right. the gates and stuff like that. But a lot of buildings were. But give me a, give me a perception check to see if you okay. can kind of tell if, it's been, just, if there's a, sustained any damage. Because I, yeah, I kind of want to get the sense if the bones might actually still be here. Um, yeah, that's a. You said perception. That's yeah. ten. Yeah, there's, there doesn't seem to be any visible damage to the building. Yeah. Okay. I will aid, but I'm going to crack them open slowly. Okay. I'm just going to take a peek. So, so you go over and you open a third one. Yeah. Uh, you go to open the fourth one. You peek, and there is something inside. Is it a as you open human? it? Uh, give me a perception check. What are you doing, Esmeralda? Uh, I have I have knocked mm. stuff over in that room. Is there any anything else of interest? Any trap doors? Maybe you do I notice that there is a door that leads out of this room, other than the one you just came through. There's two windows, but that's all you see really. Of note, you guys see that there's two doors that lead out of this room. Yeah, I rolled an eleven. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly just shut the shut the coffin again. Yeah. And be like, Rob, hey bro, hey, there's something in here. Please don't hurt me. Oh, I think that's mm -hmm. him. <sighs> don't make any sudden movements. And I'm gonna prepare uh, an eldritch blast and just a, a, like a shimmering, like, you know, orb of dark forces in my hand that oh, I'm gonna okay. open it. I don't want any I'll, trouble. I'll, 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 I'll help you like pull it away. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. Okay, I don't, uh, don't do anything. Okay, so as you open it up, you see a, a grizzled old man wearing a kind of beet leather uh, apron, big bushy beard, white hair that comes back. I think we have Henrik's um, oh, picture, hopefully in the file. If not, I don't know. Um, but, uh, and he seems... Very scared, old, weather beaten. I uh, I want to sort of lean forward, like right beside him. Okay. Just uh, where are the bones, old man. Give me a uh, intimidation check. Yeah, that's a seventeen. They're upstairs in the wardrobe. Go, get out of here. Stay right there. Oh yeah, I need to keep an eye on you. And I'm going to turn around and okay. uh, follow his instructions. Okay, and he pointed towards one of the two doors that are, there's a left door and a right door that lead out of this room. So how long okay. have you been doing this for? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he just glares at you. <laughs> I'll follow Roan. If I see him, does he go through, where is he passing through, first of all? So you guys are still in the, op you're still in the workshop area. Yep. Esmeralda's in the next door. They're in the following I, door. So I was just see leaving that see room, so I don't know if I have a chance to overhear anything. You do hear stuff on. through the other door that leads out of this room. 
What if do you I do, do, then I will follow them up. Okay, so you open the door, and you see Roan approaching, so you know that the other door is where he's talking about. You open that other door, and there's a staircase, single staircase. Okay. As you head up um, the staircase, uh, you come up to another door. You open that door. Um, and... This large, drafty room is strung with cobwebs and takes up most of the upper floor. Stacks of wooden planks lie amid several crates marked junk. Um, yeah, I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to go to the wardrobe, I guess, where he mentioned it was. Okay, so you don't see the you don't you don't see the wardrobe here. Oh, okay. Um, but the, in this room, there is as you kind of walk around, you notice that there was another door. You come up the stairs. There's a door on the left or on the right. You went through the door on the left. So if you want to go through the door on the right. Yeah, there's a door on the right. Um, what are you doing, Falfer? What are you doing, Sterling? I'm still beside Irina, very protective of her. Got okay. my sword and shield. Callie has decided to stay outside. She, you know, she kind of puts, crosses her arms and kind of leans against the building. She's like, "This is a hell of a thing, isn't it?" <laughs> to Irina. Um, I well, while while he's going up there, I'm going to bring the groundskeeper into the room where I heard the talking, hmm. and. So I'll see. You're going to bring the groundskeeper room, well, sorry, the groundskeeper into the room, okay, into the coffin room? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and you see the coffin maker kind of in the, in the coffin, kind of like, don't hurt me. I'm just trying to make chit-chat with him, too. Okay. I'll, I'll say to him, the bones? I told your friends they're Rowan, up there. Yeah, Ron already mm. went up. He's going to get him. Gonna you walk right. into a kitchen, a small square room, um, contains a square table surrounded by chairs and shelves provisions and kind of messy you can mm -hmm. tell he doesn't really care too much about cleanliness so i'm just gonna put the make the groundskeeper sit next to the coffin okay, guy. he kind of like slumps down on the ground Wait scowls he here. looks at him he's like i'll just stand with my arms crossed while ron does his thing okay can i do i get a sense of where people are yeah in yeah, yeah. So you can join yep yeah, you can join them okay so I'll, uh, I'll follow head to? up behind Esmeralda if I see her or okay. hear her going up Okay, so you guys, so you, the two of you and Esmeralda head up the stairs. Cool. I'll, I'll notion for him to follow into okay. where we're headed, cool. okay. into that room. All right. Uh, this modest bedchamber holds a cot and several well-made pieces of furniture, including a table, a padded chair, a bookshelf, and a wardrobe. What do you do? I go to the wardrobe. I'll go to the bookshelf. Okay. Um, you go over to the bookshelf. It's stacked with books of all different kinds. Anything? Can I? Anything of interest? Anything? Investigation check. Can I save? Oh, it's a seven. Okay. Uh, you don't see a lot. Uh, there's some history books, some history of Vallaki. Hmm. Um, but nothing, some stories, things like that, but nothing that nothing sticks out to you. Nothing, yeah, that you really think that is crazy. You you said there was a bed? Uh, there's a bed, yes. I would like to check under the bed. Uh, sorry, a cot. It's a cot, yeah. Cot. Uh, there's nothing under the cot. Uh, there's some scattered clothing, but that's it. Um, he has expensive taste, but he doesn't upkeep his place very, very well, um, it appears. Uh, you look in the wardrobe, and there's clothes hanging. And there's some boots and shoes. But that's all you see. Can I, I want to search for maybe a hidden compartment somewhere. Yeah. Give me an investigation. Loose oh, floorboards, check. anything like that. Yeah, that's seven. Uh, you don't seem to find any. Go ahead. So why would you buy bones? Like it doesn't seem to make sense that a coffin maker would buy bones. Don't you sell coffins to put other people's bones in? It's hard to. Uh, Negotiate with the Lord of Darkness. And he kind of looks around. Oh, Strad? Oh, he's a gem. <laughs> <laughs> and his eyes kind of like widen. Oh, and like doesn't man. know if you're being oh, sarcastic man, or if you're being a friend. That's he's gotta like, be inspiration, right? That's so <laughs> oh, He's a gem. Oh, man, great. We yeah, yeah really he's great. just a, he's a all right guy. He's, I don't think it's so bad. Like, but why, why did he want bones? The boy's like, huh? And the, and the old man's like, he kind of uh, calms a little bit. And he's trying to kind of like understand what you're, if, if you're like pulling his leg or whatever. No. And he, 
Yeah, yeah, we're, he, we we like had dinner with him the other night. He's like one of you the did. nicest guys. He's got such good food. Look, I got some. And I'll take some of the roots out of, out of my pockets. Roots that I took from dinner. It's like, look, I saved some. It's so good. You want to bite? I, I'm, all, I'm all right. He, he made me store his spawn. Oh, that's... For the attack. Kind of gross. And they told me to keep the bones here. Oh. So that he could get access to the church. Oh, so they're still here now, though, the bones. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, where did you store his spawn? And he, like, forgot that you were there for a moment. Yeah. And he kind of looked over. He said, they were in a coffin for days. Coffins for days. So are they Six of them. Are they all empty now? Yes, they're not here anymore. Oh, okay. But the coffins are there. They're empty? Yes. How much do these go for, anyways? Like, <laughs> okay, we'll go back to the top <laughs> floor. Uh, you're looking through this wardrobe, you don't find anything. Hi. Esmeralda, Falfar. The old man mentioned the bones were in here. There must be some sort of secret compartment, but I can't seem to find it. Can I check? Why don't you help yep. me take a look? Yep. Yeah, can I help look for any loose floorboards, any yep. weird thing out of place Leavers in the bookshelf wisdom check anything. somebody do wisdom check with advantage because they're being helped bust it up or actually uh, we'll, we'll do it the way we typically do which is whoever's searching you get wisdom check and then you get the other person's bonus added okay per perception so who's doing the checking so i will do the the it's a perception wisdom yeah. check right yeah so i got an 11 you can get my two plus two and you need my wisdom modifier yes. added? it's three more Okay, so all told, that's 16, right? Because you had two plus three more, so 16. You kind of knock around. And you notice that there's an area where you can actually <laughs> kind of pull. Yeah. Thank you. And then you kind of like, <laughs> you like that? Yeah. yeah. DM 101. Yeah. Uh, and you, there's kind of like a tiny little finger hole where you can actually stick, and then you pull it up, and there's a little compartment under. So I, I um, do that. And there are two sacks in the bottom of the... Compartment. I, I just I saw your. No, I did nothing. Uh, I'm, <laughs> watch, I'm watching like a hawk. Yeah. I'll All grab right. both sacks. Yeah. And I'll. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna yeah. pull them out. Pull one side look at them. One contains the bones. Okay. And um. Are they are they same same? So I'll hand I'll hand them over. Your wait, who's in there with me? Esmeralda is. So I'll hand yes. the, the bones over to Esmeralda. Uh, can you... And that's a larger sack, and it's got a number of just human bones. Okay, so I'll pass them to her, because I'm uh, trying to stay away from bones. And... Uh, yeah, maybe keep these away from you. Yeah, thank you. And I'll open the other bag and look. And that's them. just a small one. It has 30 silver, 12 electrum, uh, and all of the coins. And along with all the coins that you've seen in Barovia, have the profiled visage of Strahd. Okay. So I'll, I'll look at the bag, I'll go... I'll hand it over to her as well. You maybe take this as well. And uh, as I'm looking in, oh yes, because we don't want to relive this morning at breakfast. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying my best here, okay, woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you now have the bones. You have the. What, what do you do now? Why were you trying to get a deal with Strahd? I have no choice. You don't make deals with Strahd. You listen, and you survive. No choice. No, of course not. So what? It was just like, just do it or die? He said that he would pay me enough to not have to open my shop for a long time. Well, how much did he Ooh, pay you? That's what you were told. Well, he, whatever's in the small sack, I didn't even open it yet. Mm. Now, please go. I want to walk downstairs. Okay, you all c c congregate in the coffin storage area. You shouldn't do things walking like downstairs, That's walking I mean. downstairs with everybody else. I think I say to everybody, do you think we should like maybe leave some of this money perhaps with him? I feel bad for the guy. I don't feel bad for the guy. He betrayed his own people. Am I there now? Too? Yeah, <laughs> but like, you know, Scott's very persuasive. Well, no, you're outside with, you're outside with <laughs> Irene. Everybody. That is right. true. Oh. <laughs> So By the, the way, did you see that, Irina yeah. outside? I'm surprised you didn't say anything, Esmeralda. Well, I tried to tell you that they had a thing over my face. I mean, you know, I rolled pretty low, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was rolling all over the ground. Uh, you know, I just thought that there were some pressing matters at hand, but I think that now that we got these bones, I don't really, like, and I hand this money to uh, Dimitri. Hmm. 
I'll look over at the <laughs> coffin and I'll I'll just count what's in there. Okay. Yep. And it was what did I say? Uh, Three hundred electrum. Yeah. Nice try. Two hundred. Uh, thirty silver and twelve electrum. Hmm. Thirty silver. Twelve electrum. <laughs> so that's your price, isn't it? My life is my price. I would have surely been dead. I do what all Barovians do, survive. And that is where we're going to end the session for this oh. evening. Oh! Oh! oh. oh that was a good yeah. one, guys. We didn't even get n- nowhere near where I thought we'd get. <laughs> well, we didn't next time, next time, yeah, next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You got a whole season, right? So we're heading, we're heading south, right? You mean this isn't the coffin place's backyard? Oh. <laughs> oh. Nope. Wow. <sighs> this is the Abbey. <laughs> yeah. That was eventful. That was good. Yeah. All right. We uh, pulled a winner already because we were super late. Um, the winner is Writing Machine 123. You Yay! are the winner of a Mithril uh, Tin 20. Woo! Uh, enjoy that uh, when these guys send it out to you soon. Uh, and the mods will make sure that they get your information so that that can be sent out. Uh, if you liked what you saw, consider uh, following us and subscribing uh, to be part of our Discord. Those little uh, uh, forest encounters that you guys had along the way are actual things that happened in our Discord earlier today, mm. where That's somebody cool. was trying to craft a sword, th- roll natural one twice, and then like threw the sword and it broke, twing, and like flew into it. <laughs> So this is actually stuff that's happening in our community oh so that is affecting awesome. our actual game. That's and that'll cool. continue to happen. And there are Vistani camps all over Barovia um, that are, that that have our community members. And that's we so will cool. find you. We will. <laughs> uh, we will we'll find see. You. Hey. How's it going, eh? <laughs> going. All right, well, it's late. Yes, so yeah. we will bid everyone adieu. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone, and uh, be safe. Uh, we'll love y'all, and we'll see you tomorrow night for Behind the Screen, Thursday night for Players Table, and then back for Nolzers on Sunday, and then episode four of 13. Yay. And 13 is going to happen around Halloween. Yes, that's correct. Which is kind of weird. 13, number 13, yeah, Halloween. Halloween. Oh, I know. Bye, guys. See Thanks, Nora. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.